roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Savannah, I'm coming home, Savannah, we'll never be alone, Savannah, the beauty of the world, Savannah, let's all take a walk, Savannah. Just begun, yeah, yeah. We will always take a stand for the people, for the land. Let's go back to when we were young, for the animals who stand. Let's go back to when trees were swung. Kids across the land, Savannah, I'm coming home, Savannah, we'll never be alone, Savannah, the beauty of the world, Savannah, let's all take a walk, Savannah. you down cause you know me through and through when you are around i see the stars come out for you if we go sing this fire we gonna do it right yeah. we keep it burning higher we're gonna light this old place up and you know when i was you All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get started here on the Drake H2000 show. First of all, welcome. So lovely to have you here. Um, second of all, welcome. <laughs> so lovely to have you here. <laughs> um, so we're going to be continuing our farm today. Uh, and that will be switched over here in just a moment. So let's hit this button right there. Welcome to the Drakeage 2000 show. I'm your host, Drakeage 2000. My green screen is going to be a little bit weird today because I'm wearing a black shirt. So I'm just going to have to deal with that. 
um however uh if you're watching this over on youtube come join us live on drakeage 2000 on twitch.tv there will be a link in the description down below i'm live wednesday through sunday 10 30 a.m central standard time uh and again usually on saturdays and sundays at uh um 6 p.m central standard time if you're curious what that is in your time zone go down to twitch.tv forward slash breakage 2000 forward slash schedule and that will all be there for you uh in the meanwhile though uh we are running a contract here on this field so let me bring down the voices of the other people who are on the server at the moment well, bam. <laughs> you guys have been moved. All right. Yeah, yeah, he's on the way. He was your introduction. That's why he wasn't having. We're gonna have to start church, charging for mm -hmm. <laughs> So you guys got the bailer down here. It looks like. Yeah, we got everything down here now. Dude. Just had I'm some technical difficulties with this new mod. <laughs> yeah. Which one? It makes it everything so heavy. It adds like a the real weight to it, I would assume. Oh. But the So if your machine's top heavy on the low deck, your low deck's gonna be top heavy. So you I have mean, to drive even carefuler. Yeah, you gotta careful. be careful. <laughs> I was I was being careful but with the lag spikes and everything too. From the login. Yeah. Go on the way, don't worry. And then getting it off, I flip the trailer again. See, we'll take five percent of the cut and uh, yeah, <laughs> for, for the tow tow truck to fit your fees. Well, I can't agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, um, yeah. So basically, we are getting this ball rocking and rolling here. As, uh, we have a very large contract to do. Hey, what's up, Onctus? Can't talk much. You're fixing your new battery power bot welder. Okay. Battery powered spot welder. Sounds wild. Welcome, though. Lovely to have you. Oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah. We started the stream a little bit early, but fuck oh, it, fuck oh, it. Well, we did that yesterday too. Yeah. Oh no, Drake only has four viewers. Yeah. Let's you make need... it five. We need to <laughs> get some more. We need to get the more, more people. What's up, Doc J? <laughs> <laughs> spot welder to spot weld that many weld uh, cells into a battery pack. Oh man, dude, that sounds wild. Um, that sounds wild. Digging behind me, Chevy one can understand with some silver bucket. Oh, I need to quit singing on stream, don't I? Yeah. Oh, copyrighted no, music. Sure they were liking it. Copywritten music, though. Um, oh, so, yeah. what we got today is we got this contract that's going to pay us about a hundred thousand dollars, plus the, the bales that we're inevitably going to have left over after that. Uh, and then we've got uh, harvest later on today. Of our actual field um that would be like physically the daytime um like later on today on friday on the friday stream <laughs> um chris could i have you come over here with our other machine uh, forklifty machine thing forklift with the low low <laughs> loader oh the voucher yeah could you bring that, that over here yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the step deck is actually on its deck. How'd you manage that? Um, 
I got it hooked on the tractor and we decided to do a flip and I landed on my wheels but it landed upside down. Sounds up. You asked. <laughs> Wait, what are you using to try to undo that? Uh, we got two, we, we got a wheel load and we got our first, first Oh, thing. you brought your wheel loader over here. What's yeah. up, Hilo? 21, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful time. Um, I think that that might be the first time I've seen you in chat, but if I'm incorrect, then I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the Dragage 2000 show. Don't forget that you guys matter and that you deserve to be loved and we love you for being here. You've been better. Oh no. Well, don't worry. It's Friday. You're, we got the weekend coming up. That field looks small. You should get a bigger one. Barrett, look at that. <laughs> Uh, you need to put a number I in. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. Yeah, do you oh, want to bring the machine down? Got a hundred. There's also a heist going on right now. 30,000 Drake oh, booty. Yeah, yep. ladies and gentlemen, get involved on that heist. You can type in explanation point ice. Um, I believe tomorrow or... No, oh, today is... Should... Is today the last day of April? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, today is. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't have my phone out here. I can't tell you. I wasn't sure if it was 30 days or 31 days in April. Don't worry, February, March. Yeah, Chris, I need oh, the uh, over machine. Oh, hold on. I have oh. an idea. Either way, oh, like today that. will be the last day for uh, Drake Booty today. So at the end of the stream today, we will find out who gets that gift sub today or actually hold it right there all right okay. so in uh, the meanwhile though lost right, ten thousand drake booty on the slots Do what we're doing is uh we're working on a, a contract at the moment uh to um Bale and wrap all this grass. It should be worth a hundred thousand dollars plus whatever we have left over at the end. Um, which we should have a decent amount of bales left over at the end. We had quite a few last last contract we did. Um, we made a bunch of money off of silage the other night. Um, last night. So like, we are anticipating being able to make. You know a bunch of money off of this as well uh with the silage it's just it, it takes two in-game days for the um grass to process into silage so ooh, the goblins took out half of the thunder oh no oh no <laughs> no 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 i made it back <laughs> yep you did <laughs> Sorry, right. right. I went ahead much if I would have made it back. Um, I need to also scroll down. Okay. There we go. Um. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Here. Keep on working on this field. There we go. Now you're stuck <laughs> under that, though. <laughs> the nice thing is, though, that, um. No, 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 no. The more rounds that I do, the smaller this field gets. I'm gonna come and hold it. Still several, Chris. Several, uh, several crits remain. Alright, so that got fixed. <laughs> Good thing we actually don't Thank you, gentlemen. Field. I'll try to keep all the wheels on the ground. Alrighty then. So yeah, <laughs> this job will take us quite a bit of time. But Dane, I'm excited because game time tomorrow or the day after, we should be ready to harvest Triticale, 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 whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and, wheat. and wheat is also going the to wheat. be ready. Yep, the canola. 
Panola shouldn't be ready. It could be ready. That's the thing, it will be. It mm. could be. Yeah. So we'll play that by ear and we'll see like when those crops come available, but we are not far from that harvest. This is day two of six for early summer. Summer does not last, excuse me, early summer does not last six days, but summer lasts for six in-game days. So. Um, that would be. I thought we were on three day season. seasons. Thought what? I thought we were on the three day season. No, we're on six. Yeah. We're on six. Okay. There's a, a lot of work. Dude, it takes us a while to get these jobs done. So, um,. Let's see here. What else do we got? So today, today's question is, why did the pig take a bath? All right. Get muddy, isn't it? It was not because the pig was muddy, no. No, to get muddy. To get muddy. No. No, that's not the answer. Hmm. Oh. Pig took a bath because the farmer said hogwash. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> was easier than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is why. Yeah, um we made like five hundred thousand dollars last night on silage. So that was very nice. We almost made six hundred thousand, quite frankly. I think it was like 589,000. Yeah, it was up there. Yeah. Point is, it was a lot of money. Doc suggests hydration, so shall we do that? Oh, yeah. Just do it! Make <laughs> the dreams come true! Sorry, I had to. <laughs> nah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, there you wouldn't do it when I suggested it yesterday, so. I did too. <laughs> no, I'm talking about off stream. <laughs> oh no, yeah, off stream. No. Now I can tell you to just do it. Yeah. Well, that's what channel points are for. <laughs> Fun little things like that. Yeah. So I don't know. We got some exciting stuff going on though, on the farm. Uh, driving in circles. <laughs> Mowing the grass, not so exciting, but it's going to pay us a lot of money. So that's you know, why we're doing it. You know what's it. really nice is you can hire a worker to do the cutting. But then yeah, you but then windrow. what else would I be doing right now? You you would have to windrow. Oh. Because the worker can't do both. Right. So wouldn't it be smart to put the worker on the bailing? It won't it, bail. It can't do bailing. That's stupid. It is. Maybe in 22, maybe in Farm Sim 22, they'll make it so that the worker can bail, but... Maybe. How are we going to get rid of this IT runner? Huh? How are we going to get rid of the IT runner? Um, not yet. We will after we get this whole field cleared out. No, you... So you don't want the IT runner anymore? Uh, no. This new tractor can reach over the side of the my truck so that'll be more efficient oh the the crawler yeah hmm because the other one it could reach but it kept getting hung up this one oh. it has like an extra two inches of clearance which is what we was missing gotcha and how's that thing handle the stumps it grinds over them very well it also does the bushes too yeah that's that's the other thing that i was looking at with it Whereas the other one just did stumps and trees, what it looked like. <clears throat> oh, so you didn't have to put in that mod, that mo real mowing mod. No, because the, the thing will get the bushes. All right. That's why we got one as well. Because we need oh, okay. to move bushes. Yeah. 
I was wondering why you got all that stuff. But yeah. I wasn't gonna ask. <laughs> well, he that way we, we, we could use it for a lot of different things, so. Why we ended up getting it. I, I never question what he's doing because he's got a reason for everything. I know. <laughs> I, I just kept my mouth shut until he said something on screen. <laughs> <laughs> so we bought some new equipment, uh, which we'll show off after we're done with this uh, contract, which is uh, a new mod that we got. I don't remember the name of the mod, but it's basically like a um, crawl tractor thing of bobber jigger. It's got tracks. It's got really lovely sound to it. It's like a like a clinking metal sound as it rolls around and stuff. As metal Pretty fun. Roll around. Huh? As the metal tracks roll around. Clink yeah, clink. as the metal tracks roll. You hear the clankity clank. Um So that's that's pretty nice. What's up, Race Division? Welcome back to the stream. So lovely to have you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope your Friday is awesome. Um but yeah, so this new track tractor thing, Uma Bobber. Uh, it's got a bunch of different attachments for the front. Uh, we got like a, a bulldozer for it. We got like a silage fork for it. We got a um, bush and stump remover for it. We got, etc. We got, we got, I think we also got like a claw to pick things up, to pick logs up if we need to. Uh, just in case we need to like remove some logs or move some remove some trees and stuff that we don't need to hire Paul Bunyan like for like one tree or whatever. <laughs> so we got that going. And good news is that as I mow this field, right, like get smaller and smaller <laughs> on each trip. We make these trips uh, faster. And as I uh, keep um, going down the line, it gets smaller and smaller. Yeah. The um, I saw this YouTube video the other day. It was kind of funny. So this guy had to mow his field, and he didn't want to do it. So he had a self-propelled lawnmower, and he put a put a pipe out there. Or a pole out there, and then he's tied a stream to the lawnmower and the pole. What's up, Genghis Cottage? Welcome to the stream, sir. So lovely to have you here. It's been forever since I've seen you in stream. <laughs> and he was just here yesterday. No, that's the running joke. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. He he makes just about every stream. So. <laughs> That's why he has so many channel points to be able to do a dun 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 every time he comes into the channel. Oh yeah. Um, well, I appreciate your support, Mr. Connage. Uh, your food that you keep posting in the foodening is like amazing looking. Um, I think you posted like a bacon cheeseburger thing the other day <coughs> that looked like absolutely delicious um so we this this job's gonna take us a while but it, it's also gonna uh take us a while to uh take all the bales to the sell point too or as well will But, oh man, we made so much money off of alfalfa last night. Oh, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. But we're back down to eight, $185,000. <clears> but it costs quite a bit of money to, um, to plant and stuff like that. So we need to be careful with our money. So we're on a, we're on a pause at the moment for buying anything new. But there's some there's some other little toys that we're gonna want for long. So at least that bailer you don't have to stop. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. 
we got uh multiple people working on this field too so like we can get this job done a lot faster than if it was just one person just one person this field would take forever like <laughs> it would just take forever unless you could somehow manage to attach a baler behind the wind rower and then attach the wrapper behind that but even then maybe the r9 could do that oh attach all of them only couldn't attach the mower though so the r9 couldn't... can't attach the mower to the front no nope, it doesn't have any front i hmm. thought it did are you sure about that no i'm not 100 percent sure i think it does have a front one yeah it might i don't know either way we're gonna get this job done. We're gonna get paid. We're gonna make we're all kinds of money. You're gonna be waiting on me to keep rapping. <laughs> What's up? We're gonna. You're gonna be waiting on us to come back. Yeah, I'm gonna be because that's all the way over by the store, guys. Yeah, that's a long way to go. Yeah, it's by the animal dealer actually. Yeah, it's. It, I think it's Baywa. It is Baywa. Um, which is right next door to the animal dealer yeah so that's gonna take a little bit of time odin son how are you liking the new farm actually it's pretty good um uh, we have a lot of area for storage which is really nice um the seasons and um what should we call it seasons and precision farming are pretty fun uh new parts of the mods um they're pretty nice What's up, D Gold? So lovely to have you here. <laughs> Thank you for dropping by. Um, I appreciate it. How's work right, Chris. going? Chris has left the server. What's up? Yeah, he went to go pick yeah. his wife lunch, and he said he'd be back in a couple hours. Oh, okay, no problem. He just missed the chat message. No problem. Ooh, B Adam is starting a heist. I'll Ladies and gentlemen, you can get involved in that heist. All you gotta do is type in explanation point heist and the amount of Drake booty that you are willing to risk. You can risk anywhere from 10 heist. to all. Though so all is a bit of a misnomer because you can't actually risk all of your Drake booty. <laughs> Only I can right now. Well, yeah, it depends on how much booty you have. <laughs> Depends on how much booty you have. But basically all just means all that's available to actually do that. Cause I didn't want people losing all of their Drake booty and I also didn't want people gaining like multi-millions of booty from one heist. <laughs> oh yeah. Gotta make it fair for everybody that have a shot at winning that. Yeah, basically. So people that already have a sub i'm not sure like maybe we just do it where they get to choose who gets the gift sub hey we can go with that I mean, if i would have known that i'd actually try be trying to get some instead of losing it all <laughs> yeah i mean we can do it that way because there's several several of the people that have the top drake booty right now already have a sub to the channel so i can't gift them another sub so maybe that's the way we do it is whoever wins gets to choose like and if they want it for themselves then that's no that's no problem if they want to give it to somebody else then i could do that too either way welcome to the drakers 2000 friday stream i'm your host drakers 2000 don't forget that you matter and again if you're watching this over on youtube after the fact i'm joining us live 10 30 a.m central standard time wednesday through sunday uh and yeah i'd love to have you here well doc sorry it's okay <laughs> it's, it's not like i can catch uh on anyways so <laughs> again guys we have a lot of exciting things going on on the farm today uh we <laughs> race divisions waving at stream labs uh we got all kinds of fun stuff like uh we've got harvest season coming up here uh on a couple of our crops 
Um, Adam says canola, but I'm not sure about canola. So I, uh, Tritical though will be ready. Um, can't do that while driving. Okay. Uh, so actually you're right. I'm sorry. Dude, oh, wheat and barley. They're all going to be ready in late summer. Mid to late summer. Okay, and canola and then the triticale. Yeah, so basically all the cereal crops get ready well, we in late summer. We can replant them, but that'd be pointless. Replanting them? No. We have to wait. But we will no, have to shows, wait. It shows that you can replant them near the end of the summer. Does it? Yeah, it does. Um, I'm going to have to head out for a little bit. Um, I'll be back in a bit, though. Yeah, no problem. Um, we got some British things to do. Yeah, we could replant. In the they don't. They but don't the problem is, is doing cereal crops twice in a row. But yeah. Thirty-one is showing that it's harvested, but it doesn't show that it's growing. What? Which field? Or alfalfa field? Thirty-one. It should be, it should be growing. No, it still says harvested. It, it probably has to be replanted. It probably has to be replanted. No. It's okay. Lesson learned on that one. Yeah, but it's good money. That was really good money. A whole lot of bills. <laughs> <laughs> What, off of 31? Yes. Oh, no. That that was awesome, though, because that was all our money. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was a whole lot of bills to put into the hopper. <laughs> yes, it was. At least that hopper holds 100,000 liters, though. Yes. And I got some skill on the forks. Yeah. Yeah. True. So yesterday, uh, off stream, we fast-forwarded time a lot, uh, and... Uh, we also put all of the, um, we made a bunch of alfalfa silage bales and then we sold them to the biogas plant, uh, last night, but it took, it took some time to get that all done. We also did exactly what I'm doing right now, where we mowed down, uh, field 14. <coughs> no, I think it was 23. No, it's 14. Oh, okay. You're talking about our field. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm talking about what we've done. So we mowed down uh, field 14, and uh, that grass is actually sitting over in a bunker at the biogas plant at the moment. So, but yeah, you know, like we're making some good progress so far i was a bit worried yesterday because we were getting really low on on money but we ended up uh turning that around um with that silage sale so it was pretty good pretty darn good oh, don't forget to tell them about the cows so why don't you tell them mr cow manager okay so we actually have four of our six cows that are impregnated now that part of the cows got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so we best. should be getting some more cows before long, which means more flurry, which is pretty exciting. <clears throat> we uh, we thought I thought we would have digestate at the other uh, at the biogas plant, but it looks like we just don't have that available to us yet. Probably gonna take some time for that to be process. fully processed but i figured that it would have been ready as soon as the um as soon as the the silage the was begins. done being processed i thought that's when we were going to get it because that's usually when you get it in the base game um but seasons changes things up and makes things take longer <laughs> the other thing that we learned the other day was that we need to ted our grass um, so in order to, so like this, this like bright green, like bluish green colored grass that that's coming directly off the field. So in seasons that comes off of the field as, 
uh, fresh cut grass. Um, and so you have to run over it with a tether to turn it into like regular grass. Just dry it out a little bit. Uh, and so, yeah, we learned that lesson yesterday. Um, because normally, normally you would, if you ted the grass in, in the base game, it just turns straight to, into hay, like right away. And I was a little bit nervous <laughs> running a tether over it. And some of the, uh, grass ends up looking like, um, looking like hay when you do the tether because there's like two different colors of green that come with that and so it was a little confusing um but we got it all sorted out yesterday you can't make salad out of those fresh grass or fresh alfalfa correct yeah so you have to ted both of them in order to do that like we were trying to uh basically like there's a learning process that we're going through and not only with the map but with seasons and um precision farming as well so like as we, as we grow with those growing pains on those uh <clears throat> those new modifications because they changed a lot of the base game around uh but as we continue to do that um we'll get better and better at this i'm gonna go back to random music just gonna play the same like five songs otherwise <laughs> okay so this field is almost mowed though i know we're the part if you're gonna go over to back over do what that's that for the parts that you might go back over. Yes. May as well. We're at 18%, guys. Yeah, well, we got a long way to go. We oh, yeah. Delivered any. Uh, actually, we don't have that far to go if you remember last time. You guys took two trips over there and it was like at 90. Oh, no, I get that. Yeah, that was a smaller field, too, though. But this this uh, this contract pays ninety eight thousand dollars, and then we should get some more thousand dollars <laughs> uh, once the bales actually turn into silage. We're gonna make yeah. a lot of money. It takes two days. Yep, that's the only downside. But what we'll yeah. do is we'll go store these over at the biogas plant storage that I have over there. Oh, we're going to do it that way. Yeah, well, since they're going to go directly into the biogas, we have some silage in storage that's fermenting already at the farm. Yeah. Cow purposes. Although, we'll have to test to see once those turn into silage, we'll have to test to see if we can feed it into the TMR mixer thingy. And then feed the team out to the cows. Yes. You test that out too. Bless you. Bless you, sir. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Hell needed. <laughs> it, it's from all this grass that we're cutting. I got hay fever. Right? <laughs> all right. Well, I got about another hour. So what? So I gotta leave. Oh. Where are you headed? Bank. You gotta go to the bank? Yep. Oh boy. You'll be back though, right? Oh, eventually, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no worries then. I I'm not going anywhere, Drake. You got me. Woo! <laughs> so... Hopefully I can get this all done before I leave, but we'll see. Oh, with the bailing? Yep. Yeah, no worries. Get as much done as you can, and if you gotta go, you gotta go. Um. Yeah. Let's see here. Um. What should we? You know. Um. The other thing that we got going on 
is we got to figure out the um, crop rotations and probably write it down somewhere. <clears throat> um, Doc is trying to get another heist going. If you guys want to get in on that heist again, all you got to do is type in explanation point heist. Put in the amount of Drake booty that you want to risk. So. Let's see here. What we'll do is finish this contract up. But the, um, yeah, I need to look at the, I have crop rotations for a couple of the crops at the moment, like planned out in the seasons menu, but I need to write it down somewhere. Probably um, make it so we can all see it. Yeah, yeah. Need a Google Doc for it. Um, because I'll also... There's not enough on my seasons menu to see all the fields that we own because there's only four slots to a planned rotation. So we'll have to figure that out because we can get a bonus 20% yield for rotating them properly. Off of the majority of the crops, at least. Plus what we're doing with the precision farming, which would mean massive yields. Do it right. And we are going to be taking a corn harvest uh, contract, right? We'll see. It'll be uh, a, if there until is one. late fall. It won't be until late fall. I know that, but... Or um, mid-fall. We, we are trying to plan on that, though, right? Yeah. If there is one, yes. Okay. We will, one, then. we'll take that contract just so that we can refresh our our thing. Ooh. I'm the only one that Adam that is one. the only survivor of the raid on the, the Goblin Caves of Tealmar. So yeah, the way we'll do the, the Drake booty is um so at the end of the stream today we'll find out who has the most Drake booty. And that person will win a gift sub to the channel. They can choose to use it for themselves or have me give gift it out to somebody else. Um, so, because, like, if you already have a sub, I, I don't think I can give you a gift sub. I don't know if that will extend it to you or, or what. But we'll see. Either way, though, uh, whoever ends up with the most Drake booty at the end of the stream today will get a gift sub that they can use for themselves or for somebody else. So, we'll see. I need to sneeze. <laughs> I need to sneeze. Oh, lordy. All this grass that we're cutting. Got <laughs> the hay fever too. Right, apparently get in there thank you oh goodness oh that was a that was a rough sneeze okay sorry about that getting low on fuel holy cow how how are you getting low on fuel because he didn't fuel before he came oh i got a little over a half tank so i'm good for right now but i need fuel when i get back i'm just under a half tank oh yeah i'm like at half a tank we're all ready to refill. <laughs> <laughs> but we have our own gas. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's the other nice thing. You know, that's the nice thing about the biodiesel. So, we have a lot of we gas, but I don't know if we'll be able to fill everything, but hopefully we will. Uh, we I don't be... think we almost have like 3000 liters of diesel. I don't know what that equals out in gallons, but it should be enough to fill up all three tractors. It should plus be. We, hang on. Plus, we still have gas in the gas uh, trailer. Uh, trailer. Yeah. I topped it off too. Yeah. So we should we should have more than enough, really. It'll just be interesting, like, because we're gonna be running like the harvesters and stuff here soon, uh, and they they tend to eat up a lot of gas. <clears throat> oh yes. As soon as we have that canola harvested, we'll have more gas too. So yeah, this is yes. also true. 
diesel. We'll have to buy. <laughs> well, I'll also have to buy some methanol. Um, that's still half full too, so we're we're good for a little bit. Yeah. But oh, the other did. thing is too, we'll have to buy the um, uh, road salt in the fall, prepare for the winter, and we'll fill up a trailer. Well, not fill up a trailer, but we'll we'll put a bunch of them on a trailer when we buy the pallets of methanol later. Okay. <clears throat> so that that way, like, we can use the step deck trailer and load that up with the um, different pallets um, and put it into storage. Yeah. I have no <clears throat> idea how you missed that many spots. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, dude. Blue, have fun. Get your fish and chips on. Have a lovely lunch, and we'll see you when you get back. I'm not into fish myself, though. Just not. Not my thing. The thing about <clears throat> fish with me is that, like, I like the flavor of fish. <clears throat> I enjoy eating fish sometimes. It depends on the fish, of course. Um, but then I don't like, I'll hate your hydrate here in a sec, <laughs> but <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> do not like the texture of fish and I don't like, um, battered sausages. <laughs> My option are fish or sausages. I say sausages. Um, but I, I just don't like the texture of fish and I don't like the, um, aftertaste of Wait. <clears throat> See, and my thing is I had a bone cod oh. for it when I was a kid. So, I'll still eat, like, shark and swordfish and stuff like that. But I, I try to stay away from the bluegill and stuff like that. You had too much bluegill as a kid? We, we ate fish the whole time. Catfish, bluegill, perch. Uh, mm. Crappy. Yeah. At my grandma's house, uh, at the Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri, um, we used to catch the fish and to eat them and stuff. And I wasn't really into it. Um, I didn't really like it back then, even though my grandma was an amazing cook. Like, like she could cook anything she wanted. <laughs> Two battered sausages and one lot of chips and some crap. Okay. So what's the scraps part of that? I don't know. You British people and your weird terminology. Because <laughs> 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 scraps to me just means like, hey, we're throwing this stuff away, so we may as well feed it to Blue. <laughs> or the dog. Or the dog, yeah. So what is scraps, Blue? I don't know. We'll find out. Just batter uh -oh. that's fallen off. Yeah, no, I love that stuff. Like, uh, Long John Silvers gives you that here in the States. With, with your hush puppies. Yeah. Good. Hey, What's welcome up, Chevy? Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream, sir. So lovely to have you back. You get a free bag with any order. Nice. No, I mean, that stuff can be pretty good. Like I said, I like it with, um, there's a fast food restaurant here in the States. I don't know if it's in England. It's called, uh, Long John Silver's and they're like a chicken and fish place. And they will usually put like a, a handful of those crumbs in your, uh, in your order. Either that or they fall off when they put it in. I don't know. <laughs> One of the two. A little bit of both. <clears throat> a little bit of both. Yeah. Mother trucker. It's basically just fried batter. Wow. Yeah. It's really good though. Very tasty. Oh well, I'm pretty sure I already got two trailer fulls. Oh I'd say oh. you got twenty trailer trailer fulls. 
wrapped already? No. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he's probably got four trailer pulls wrapped at this point. Well, I mean, any Chinese food gives you a free bags of prawn crackers if you order over 10 pounds. We got Captain D's and Long John Silver's. Yuck, Captain D's is nasty. <clears throat> I, I, I've I never eaten. I never even heard of Captain D's before. It's a southern thing. It's a southern thing. Ah, uh, okay. that explains it. You'll, you'll find them in Alabama, Georgia. Yeah, because Chevy's from Louisiana, aren't you? I think you are. If I remember correctly. Chevy, you're from Louisiana? So you're a kunas? I think he is. <laughs> I think he's from Louisiana. I'm not sure. We'll find out here in a moment when chat catches up and he confirms or denies. <laughs> Give me Is there any again. big patches that I missed? Because I'm done mowing. Um, <laughs> There's a few small ones that I know of, but... Yeah, nothing. I don't know anything uh, good. Yeah, I'm only really concerned about the big ones. Get out of my way. Illinois! That's right. Sorry, my bad. <clears throat> There's a. It's hard to keep up with everything. <laughs> Captain D's wow. That's pretty. He's south for me. He's my next door neighbor. Ooh, Genghis Khan has gambled it all and won. He doesn't. He didn't have a lot of Drake booty. How he lost a lot of it. This month has not been friendly to Genghis's uh, gambling it <laughs> with his booty lately. Okay. Uh, hasn't been friend friendly to me either, but that's besides the point. I was trying to lose it. <laughs> yeah, but now that you know you can give it away to somebody else, right? Oh, yeah. I just think that that would be... Because, like, people already have... You know. Oh, do we only have the one bail trailer here? Yeah, that's the only one that I got here so far. Okay. Thinking sure. <clears throat> Ooh, Doc J just gave Genghis Connage ten thousand, no, hundred thousand Drake booty. Woo! A lot of booty. That's a lot of booty. Okay. But yeah, so whoever has the most Drake booty at the end of the stream today will end up with a gift sub. They can use it for themselves or they can gift it to other people. Um, but I will be providing that at the end of the stream today. Can I get this up there? Doesn't look Not like that at least. Um... I'm thinking. My brain is working. Hold on. No <clears throat> I'll just leave it here. For now. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be taking all the equipment back on the flatbed since we're having that problem with the uh, height maths. Well, I can try myself okay well i would suggest just putting like the baler on there and maybe the lawnmowers or something yeah. like that we'll check it out we'll see that'd be nice smelling <clears throat> you can english well <laughs> i'm just teasing you man um let's see here I'll just run around, grab a bunch of these bales, start getting working on that. Um, the fish and chip shop smells good. Yeah, I bet it does. I bet it does. Okay. Bales, get those bales. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, I was in the Navy for eight years, so I certainly got my fill of that smell of the, of the ocean. 
fight. You know, it is what it is. The only thing I have a problem with fish is the smell. No, I do not like the smell of fish. I'll tell you Taste that right now. Finger licking. Oh. What's that? Smells like fish. Tastes like chicken. Oh my god, it's finger licking. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I mean, the way I see it is because I don't like fish. <clears throat> it leaves more fish for the rest of the people. Yep, that's true. You think tomorrow you'll gift subs? Uh oh, well then, I'd appreciate it. You don't have to, but it certainly goes a long way in supporting the stream. Okay, that's a full trailer, full load. Now to find the most efficient way to get to the cell point. Um, take the dirt road to the. I'm gonna get it up. Where was it? Um. There's a couple different ways you can go. Um, I think I take a left up here at the main or at the small road. Go all the way up to the intersection there. Go to the supermarket, take a north. Path. Then in between 49 and 50, make a left, and then a left again at the shop. And yeah. Then on your right. Oh, that's a long trip. Okay. That is. And there's no shortcuts there. There is no oh, shortcuts there. I was hoping there much. was one. That's what I was that looking for. I was cut over the fields. <laughs> Which is it, now illegal on the server. <laughs> right. Uh, 47 would look like a nice one to cut across, though, if you're going to do it. Yeah, it, I might be able to skirt around the edge of 47 on the dirt Might pile. be able to. Yeah, they're um, only... Because usually they have, like, a dirt dirt path along the edge of it. Or at least a grass pass. Yeah. It all depends on how the trees are. Yeah, I'll, I'll look and see, because that would be, that would save a lot of time if I could. Um, well, the stream will tell on you if you go, go in the field. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I know. I am not going on that field. I am the one that made the law. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> basically, like yesterday, we found some... Uh, tire tracks in our canola field and they went for quite a distance so i made it a, a rule on the server that you're just not allowed to drive on any field that you're not actively working on anymore and unless, unless you roll your truck and you have to <laughs> yeah uh i can that, that kind was a of total accident in the grass so i hope you don't do that in our field no, you know what? E. Rough. Okay. I'm just gonna go the long way. Just gonna go the long way. Because that's not gonna work. There's not enough room from the grass to the uh, field itself. So. Oh, okay. I thought that there was gonna be like a little dirt path like here on the right. Um, that, that field on that side of the field does not have much room between the field, between the grass and that. Marcus, go boom! This is our latest Drakeling. Thank you so much for hitting that follow button, sir. You are Drakeling number 1,840! Welcome I'm, to the stream. That's right. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for hitting that follow button. That brings us one step closer to this goal right over here of five followers today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Are you looking forward to Farming Simulator 22? And if so, we're kind of having this like running guess of what the new crops are going to be for that game. Uh, and I would love to hear what you think. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, this is going to take a while. Turnips! Ooh, turnips would be interesting. Turnips are a root crop, though. So it'd be kind of similar. Turnips would be kind of similar to, um, what do we call it? Uh, sugar beet. What, what did I say yesterday that we all thought was a good idea? Off screen. Grapes? Maybe. No, that was um. Uh. Because it was right after we mentioned the uh, cranberries. Peanuts. 
Peanuts, yeah. Peanuts, yeah. Peanuts, Peanuts would be cool. I, I would also like to see the the um orchards with the nuts, like almonds and walnuts and stuff like that. Crazy. We don't need to be nuts anymore or have nuts anymore. What the who now? I think the publisher thinks we're all crazy enough that we don't need nuts anymore. Oh, <laughs> we're all nuts already. Yep. Yeah, probably. The amount of hours I've been putting into this game lately. Ah, I just ran somebody over. That's all right. They didn't pull a thing. I promise you. No, they, they were a ghost because they just trent, trent, uh, went right through my trailer there. Okay. Is there a faster way? I don't think there is. Unless if you make a left right outside the farm or a right instead of a left right outside the farm, you can go up and go straight. That's the way that I came here. There's a road that goes like right here, but then it stops right there. So no, there is not a faster way. That's what I was saying. If you cut no. through for if you can get through there, because it does. Have yeah. Check. You can't. You have to hang around right there. Ooh, B Adam gave out a gift sub to Blue Lion Gaming. Thank you so much. It was a really long way, dude. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Is this the actual sell point that I need to be at, though? Uh, That's the question. Okay. I don't want to drop this off and then it not work. So. No, it's not. It's on the other side. It's in the square patty. Over here. Right there. That's the sprayer oh. thing. This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See how it has all the bells? Yeah. Uh, I was in the right thing, and then I teleported out of it. There we go. We all have that bad habit. Let's try that one over here, because that's kind of the one that's flashing. I did switch over to your screen so I could watch. <laughs> Um, this is gonna work. It will. Yep, there it is. That's the one. Okay, cool. Now we. Yeah, Lou even still. What? Is Lou even still around? He's on he's his eating. Discord. Or in the stream. But he's not oh. here. He said he'd be back in about 30. Oh, mm -hmm. there he is. Well, I just brought him back down because he was up in the general chat. Welcome back, Blue. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Did you get fish and chips or did you get uh, sausage and chips? All right. So let's go pick up some more bales. This is going to take a while, though. Get this done. At least got the hard part for cutting them. Yeah, no, that's true. The field is fully cut, so just got to run down there and pick them, pick up the trailers over and over and over. <laughs> <clears throat> and that put us at twenty six percent. And that's just one. Wow. Yeah, but we were eight percent on the delivery for your trailer. So, Blue Lion Gaming gave out 20 gift subs? What? Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you so much, Blue. That's Welcome. wild, man. Is there even 20 people watching? I, I mean, not right now, but it's going to give them out to everybody. <laughs> oh, man, that's going to make my credit section of today's stream really long. <laughs> but I love it. Thank you so much thing no that's gonna be really that's that's really really generous of you thank you i appreciate it now, now how do you get them bit gold uh by donating bits oh no. to the stream. Okay, no. so wow that's a lot of gift subs dude thank you um where do you see the goals at 
Uh, it's on the screen. the screen right over here. Which, oh, speaking of, we just hit that subscriber goal <laughs> and fold well, we over. Hit the, we hit so, the subscriber goal a lot quicker, but. Everybody's gonna get 20,000 Drake booty because a thousand for each sub. So, bam, everybody just got 20,000 Drake booty for Blue's generous donation of subs there. That's awesome. <laughs> That's good, darling. Okay. I need to pay my rent real quick. <laughs> <laughs> After we already did that. <laughs> that's uh that's quite a few gift subs. <laughs> um but oh man, thank you again. It's not that expensive. I was thinking about doing more than one, but then I'm like, eh nah, one'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> the slithery snake is our latest Drakeling. Welcome, <laughs> slithery snake. Welcome, sir, <clears throat> and or madam, whatever the case might be, however you identify. Heck, you could identify as an attack helicopter if you wanted to. Um, <laughs> oh, well, they, they identify as hammers and wrenches. <laughs> I mean, that's fine if they want to. <laughs> now, we, we lost all of our guns and ammo in a boat and accident. It's okay. Oh, really? That's what I'm getting told with feds. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. My, uh, um, my dad, when we were at the Lake of the Ozarks, uh, when I was a kid, for the 4th of July, I need to go into first person because it is trees. Um, so he and my uncle, like, had this little pedal boat, and they went over to the, um, they went over to this abandoned dock across the like channel from our our dock and they were setting up fireworks over there to, to launch fireworks off of the abandoned dock right mm -hmm. and um my dad messes up somehow and 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 they like they were trying 50 tier one gift subs jeez what <laughs> no it could be even longer oh man we're just <laughs> <laughs> uh hey, so... your viewers have gone up mate <laughs> oh man thank you very much blue that's a lot you, you should have went with big goals on that that's amazing there's a discord if anybody wants to go in the discord yeah okay so um so my dad and my uncle go over to this abandoned dock and they start lighting fireworks over there and um and meanwhile in the back of their little pedal boat they have uh all the fireworks okay and one of the fireworks one of the like bottle rockets or something like falls over and then it launches into the bag that they have all the fireworks on and so then the um they're all trying to jump off the boat and stuff as all the fireworks start going off in the back i think i broke your uh your little screen pop-up thing you did. It's going to be going for quite some time. <laughs> Thank you for all those gift subs. Holy crap. So, yeah. Now I need to figure out who's actually going to end up with a gift sub for their Drake booty, though. Because everybody's <laughs> oh, going to have don't one. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to have one. Wow. Hey, you su subscriber, Colin. Your, your aim was one. Now you got 71. I'm up to 132 subscribers now. Um, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so Slithery Snake, where are you coming from today, bud? This is the first time I've seen you in chat, and I want to thank you for your follow earlier. Pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> that, that new subscriber thing is going to pop up a lot. <laughs> United Kingdom! Ah, we got a couple Brits in and around. You're not by yourself anymore, Blue. Oh, darn. I yeah. can't tell if people are subbed or not. I, I guess I'm going to have to chill chill with the jokes about Britain, huh? Genghis Connage. <laughs> well, Gang now. Genghis Connage is in Scotland, if I remember correctly. And, uh... I mean, we got, we got some Brits. 
Uh, I, I usually get a lot of people from the Netherlands hanging out in chat here, too. Oh, nice. The Adam, Unctus, and Genghis made it out of the Goblin Caves of Tealmore. So, uh, this is called Air Shalt. If you type in explanation point map, it will, uh, it will pull that up for you. It's a pretty good map. Oh, I'm full. That's why I can't pick that one up. Oh, he's in Lancaster. Lancaster. Nice. Land. Case yeah, so I... the way that we've done this, right, is, uh, we were previously playing on Durango and farming there earning all of our money and stuff like that and um we kind of i kind of felt like um you know the end of the month uh was a good time to move away from durango so we uh we left durango on like yesterday no day before day before, or, day before yesterday so on wednesday we left durango and we came here to air Schultz. And we sold the farm on um, on Durango and took that money over here uh, to Airshalt. But in um, in June, we will be uh, switching maps again. But only this time, we won't take the um, money over. We'll, we'll be starting over at that point. And so every two months, we'll be starting over with our money um, just to keep things fresh. As we go into Farming Simulator 22, uh, we'll kind of keep that ball rolling, though there won't be that many maps initially for 22. So that will be that will be something else. Oh, you can join us too, Snake. Hello, another 10 gift subs. What is going on? Blue, thank you so much, man. No problem. I appreciate it, man. That's a lot. That is a lot of gift subs. You just want to keep that subscriber thing going, don't you? No, no. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot of gift subs. Wow. I'm. Wow. Thank you. Like. <laughs> oh, Dane, slithery snake. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we're playing right, well, on PC at the moment. I'll be back in half now once the subscriber thing has gone off. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Blue, again. It really does mean a lot to me, and I do appreciate it. Um, well, shoot. Now I have a, enough money to look into that um, dedicated server. <laughs> um, well, you did want help with that. I did. I did, indeed. <laughs> you, you, you've got that. <laughs> I mean, we do. We do. do. Do I get the top uh, gifted sub spot? You most yeah, assuredly yeah. did. You probably have seven, to seven. filter it for that. Got that. Let's see here. If I alt tab. Yeah. Old yeah. Time top gifted. Yeah. There, it's the yeah, only one, other one that's subs. close. <laughs> wow. Dude, that new subscriber thing is going to be going for the next hour. <laughs> That is going to make my credits screen <laughs> so long. There's snake, but it's actually more fun when you play with other people. You can still jam out to your music. Oh, right, well, dude, jam out to 80s music. Hells yeah. I a thousand percent approve of that, man, because oh, <laughs> I wish there was like a, an 80s like pop music station built into there is eighties hair band. There's hair band, yeah. Hair band is a little I don't really like eighties rock that oh. much. The eighties rock is like it's okay, it's not bad. I, I like rock. I enjoy rock, but eighties rock is kinda eh. Like there's some good eighties rock, but I don't know. It it doesn't compare to like the, the ridiculous eighties pop music with all the synth wave stuff. Oh, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my money, Mickey. That, oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> that sounds that okay, but I, <laughs> I mean more like never gonna give you up. <laughs> oh, I love oh, another one. Dude. <laughs> never gonna <laughs> let <laughs> you down. Every time I get one of 
Carl Wilson, they, they think they're going to get me. I, I love that song. So you can't mess with me with that one. Or like, take on me. Take on me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is all copyright. <laughs> hey, hey, we're not it's... doing that much. Of it. You can do like up to ten seconds of it, I think. Yeah, it's five on YouTube now. Is uh, it only five? Oh, great! Yeah, just, I got, this I got. Might not go to YouTube. Dead. Wait, if I'm doing it, it's my own rendition. <laughs> <laughs> that um, subscriber thing. That's going to be there. I'm not saying that all '80s rock is bad. Queen, yes, Queen is amazing. Oh, yes. Queen is great. Queen is amazing and Kenny Loggins. But Kenny Loggins, I pretty much just know Danger Zone from Kenny Loggins, though I know that there's another song that I know of his. Uh, you probably know quite a few of them because you did Return to Pooh's Corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Blue Line Gaming with all those gift subs now has a fancy little golden. I'm not offensive for a little potato. A little golden present right there. One. Yeah, he, uh... I've done. Yes, dude. I, I'm I'm really looking forward to the sequel. Hang on. How about Iron I'm Eagle? Not. Iron Eagle. Don't That's... know them off the top of my head. No, no Iron Eagle movie. was a movie. A oh, movie. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, it had know. a great soundtrack to it too, though. Oh yeah. Um. His dad was a fighter pilot, got freaking shot down, and him and was it Lewis or who's that black guy? Uh, black actor. I don't remember. I mean, there's a few black actors out there. <laughs> Give me a sec, I'll just Google it real quick. And I hope that helps you out, that jerk. And that helps me out oh. amazingly. Thank you, sir. I appreciate all, it. All that helps him out. I'm gonna go eat some fish and shit. Enjoy your fish and chips, sir. Yeah, you too. I'll be back in like 10 minutes. Lewis Gossett Jr. Iron Eagles is ba is good. Basically Top Gun, but a little bit better. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it is better. I, I, I like the first one better than all of them, but the second one wasn't too bad. Three and four kind of went out the door, but they were made in the 90s, so you that, that tells you something. They were just trying to run on the franchise. Yeah. That's all that dude eats, Odin. Welcome to the stream, sir. Um... Let's see. Here. I liked that. Uh, what it was the final countdown movie? I think it was what it was called. In the eighties, it was like a, 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 a modern called, aircraft carrier goes back to World War Two. I don't think I ever saw that one. I don't oh, think it, I have either. It's it's good. Like so, this modern aircraft carrier gets trapped in the storm, and the storm transports them back into World War Two just before the Pearl Harbor attack. And they have this moral dilemma of do they stop the attack or not? Because if they stop the attack, then America would never enter the war. Yo, it's still going? Jesus Christ. I know, it's still going. Yeah, that's what happens when you gift that many it, subs. It is a 1980s movie and it was called The Final Countdown. Yep. Oh, wow. And... Yeah. You can watch it on Amazon Prime for free. Yeah. Oh, goody. You've been here, Brad. You're just playing games. What games are you playing today, Odin? <clears throat> I know what I'm going to watch. <laughs> Final Countdown. Yep. Uh, well, I'm not going to watch it I mean, it it's, right it's cheesy 80s movies, of course, but, you know. Nothing wrong with cheesy 80s movies. Look at Little Shop of Horrors. Dude, hey, Little Shop of Horrors good. is great. And the original so Ghostbusters. Like there is no two? other Ghostbusters other than the original version. There is no other Ghostbusters other than Ghostbusters 1 and 2. I agree. This Except for the one new one that's coming out. Should be good. All female one? No, no, no. Uh, that one doesn't exist. <laughs> that movie doesn't exist. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so no, so but the, the new one that, that was supposed to come out in 2020, but then... The pandemic happened and they delayed it. Um, looks really good. Plus, like, it's actually like the the there's kids that are like the grandkids of the original cast from the Ghostbusters. So they Multi Bandit. 
Smokey and the Bandit smokes all of the movies. I have not seen that one. You heard Smokey and the Bandit? I don't think I have. I might have. One, two, and three. Yeah, load them up and trucking. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, these small European roads, I swear, dude. <laughs> uh, so I watched the new Footloose. It wasn't bad for what it was. Yeah. They should have called it something else because it was not Footloose. Fair enough. Um, but it, what is it? I mean, it wasn't the same premise of like this town that says you can't dance. Basically, it had that, but in the original one, it was the son and the mother that moved to town. Yeah. It, it was just the son that moved there. Oh. No, like, uh, uh, I really like the, um, that TV show, Cobra Kai. It's a little that cheesy. Was, cheesy. That but... was a wonderful series on Netflix. Yeah. But, like,. I haven't watched I, I don't I haven't watched the latest season of it yet though. I think I'm I think the latest season is season four and yeah. I'm like at the end of season three. But I love that it shows like Johnny's point of view from that, but I always loved the theory that that, that um Johnny wasn't the bad guy, it was uh LaRusso. Daniel LaRusso was. Daniel was I, the bad guy. Was. He yeah. was the one that always started. If you don't like small roads, then you won't like UK maps. Yeah, like I've, I've played on a couple UK maps. Um, I think what we're going to be doing on uh, stream here is doing um, like a US map and then a European map. A US map, you're, you know, so on and so forth. There's only one Australia map that I'm aware of, and that one is way too large. Uh, it's like a 16x map, and it's like, no. I, I really don't have any desire to play on a 16x map. No, some of these you know, are we too big. Find a West Texas map. What? Find a what? West Texas map? Yeah. There is one. I'll have to make a Texas map for 22. No, there is a West Texas map. Oh, look out. at that new subscriber. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a lot. It's, it's still going. <laughs> Still going. Oh, you going to have it for the next hour? It, yeah, I know. Next thirty it, it, minutes. It might last for an hour. <laughs> Who knows? Oh man, I I really appreciate all those gift subs though. Rest in peace, Burt Reynolds. Yeah, for oh, sure. The um. Here, what was my favorite 80s movie though? Probably the Goonies. Probably the Goonies. Ooh, Blue Lion Gaming is joins the server. I'm gonna sit here mm -hmm. for the <laughs> before the wow. inevitable. Wow. <sighs> you, you can go for your subs. See how many subs you have. Uh, oh, four comes out later this stuff? year. Okay. He's found and right? down. Loaded up a trucking. We gonna do what they say. We're gonna blah blah blah. Just watch yes. whole bandit run. Okay. Yes. Back when Sean Austin was a young hobbit. That's right. Um, Goonies is a great movie though. Th there's another movie that was like in of a similar vein of Goonies that came out not too long ago called Super 8. That was really good. Super 8 is really good. Yeah, I, I, those kids were phenomenal actors. Yes, they were. Like, phenomenal actors. I also love the fact that their movie that they were making inside the movie was created by them so the script oh the, yeah the film everything was com completely created by them i love that yeah that was so was awesome. you subscribe the thing stopped oh yay <laughs> i think we made it through them all time to gift 80 more <laughs> <laughs> oh man rough that's that's 
That's a lot. I think you made it so that we unlocked uh, some additional emotes. So, Did it? Nope. No, we have the maximum that we have uh, that we can get before I make partner. Oh. That's all right. Now everybody's got subs. <laughs> um. Yeah. So slithery snake, what's your favorite crop in the game at the moment? While we're waiting for blue to synchronize here. Yeah, I'm just dialing up. Yeah, I'm dialing up into that right now. Personally, like I had a lot of fun with the um, um, what should I call it? Sugar cane. I had fun with sugar cane. A lot of people don't like the default sugarcane harvester, and I understand why. It's kind of small. You like wheat? Yeah, I mean, wheat's pretty good. Pretty good. And oats. Hey, yay. I can actually <laughs> get back to work now. <laughs> but I don't know what you're going to do for uh, the end of the stream. Because everyone has a sub. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure it out. Phone your plans to tatters. Basically, whoever has the most great booty will win a <laughs> gift sub to the channel. Or I could give away a game. To that hey, person. There we, there we go. That's not a bad idea. Well, well, it won't be me because I give my guy my my booty away. Yeah. Well, I think I I um. <laughs> we'll 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 figure it out. We'll figure it out. But yeah, whoever has the most Drake booty. So guys, if you're just joining the stream, first of all, welcome. Glad to have you here. This is the Drake is 2000 show where you don't forget that you matter and that you deserve to be loved. If you want to get in on this heist, all you got to do is type in explanation point heist and the amount of Drake booty that you are willing to risk. If you're curious how much booty you have, you can type in explanation point booty and it will tell you. Um... <laughs> And, uh, basically, whoever has the most wins a gift sub. However, Blue just gave out, like, a gazillion gift subs today, uh, which I highly appreciate. And, uh, so what we're going to do is whoever wins the Drake Booty Challenge today and has the most booty at the end of the day, uh, will be able to just choose who gets their gift sub, uh, as a result of that. But holy crap. Thank you again, Blue. That was a lot of a lot of gift subs. <laughs> I could only do that much. My cat wouldn't do any more. My <laughs> the man would the cat wouldn't do any more. No worries. You already did enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that, but okay. Well no I'm UK bank. No, not, so, not 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 that. I was talking about something else. Uh -oh. oh, for oh some reason, God, I thought you were driving the cement truck because your symbol was coming up on top of me <laughs> here, Adam. Oh, I'm close by. I'm stuck behind traffic. <laughs> yeah. It was probably the, sim or the cement truck that you're stuck behind. No, I was stuck behind a red car. Yeah. I seen him coming. I was letting I him... have a stop sign. You don't. Keep going. All right, I'll go. <laughs> well, you waited too long now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, welcome to the Drake of 2000 Friday stream. We are, um, working on a contract right now, and, um, uh, I'm trying to get this done. It's just a little one. Yeah. Ah, ah. Took a little bit of time to get the, uh, grass all oh, cut. Oh, I forgot but... to get gas when I was up there. Oh, darn it. 
Oh, uh, at the farm? Yeah, well, wrong field. <laughs> okay. Did you take some equipment back with you too? I took the baler with me. Cool. Yeah. Can I safely pass these cars? Let's see. Let's try. <laughs> <clears throat> Got it. So we also have it on this server where if you run into something or something runs into you, um, it causes damage to your vehicle. And so it lowers your maintenance. So you have to spend maintenance on your vehicle later. We try to avoid accidents. As many collisions as possible. Yeah, as many collisions as possible accidents and stuff like that I try to avoid those yes and doc tries to not flip the tractors over <laughs> I mean, mainly the sim lines have been flipping what are you talking about <laughs> yeah it's well, kind of impressive that you managed too. to flip the semi kind of impressive all right. Well, that's what happens when the load's top heavy and you turn just a hair and it decides it wants to flip completely over. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, the physics in this game are a little weird. Where, where are the wrap bales at over in the Uh, They're over here by me. There's some all the way around, but there's, there's a big cluster of them over here by me. Are you eating pizza? Me? No, I'm eating a cookie. It looks like pizza. Or chocolate chip biscuit if you're British. Oh, you, you mean a biscuit? This is Mr. Bojangles. He's an ornery little guy that woke me up way too early today. Didn't you, buddy? Was he hungry? He yeah, he was. <laughs> oh, dude. Be back in 10 minutes. You gotta take the dog out. We'll see you when you get back. I'll have to go and get It's some, nice to meet you food. as well, sir. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Almost ran that dude over. Try to avoid running people over, even though it doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks bad. Mm hmm. You see them all now? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I, I was, so what's I the difference like... between a biscuit and a cookie then? I thought they were the same in England. Well, yeah, you can get little cookies, which are little round dough with chocolate chips in it. And then you can get biscuits, which are just biscuits. <laughs> I mean, I like biscotti. When you use the same word to describe the same thing, that doesn't really work. So what's a cracker yeah, no, called? Like, what do you mean? You can have different. You can have salty crackers. You can have normal crackers. But aren't you they can biscuits have rich too? Crackers. No, there's crackers. So biscuits are sweet. No. <clears throat> crackers, you put your cheese on. So biscuits are sweet. Yeah, you dip them in your tea. So what am I supposed to put on my gravy over? <laughs> Yummy. <clears throat> There's a really good meal here for like breakfast usually called biscuits and gravy. And so uh, a biscuit here in the States is similar to like a roll, but it's like a, um, it's, it's denser. It's denser and it's like it got more of like a, I want to call a crumbly texture uh, to it. And, and basically you, you split the, crumble. you split these biscuits in half and then you pour gravy, like sausage gravy is what I usually do and pour that over them. Sausage and then, gravy, oh. red eye gravy, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> what, what are donuts over there? Donuts? Donuts. Oh. That didn't change either, sorry. Ah, get out of the way. Why, why would donuts be changed? Now watch this. What's a loo? <laughs> a what? A loo? 
It's the toilet. Then why don't we just call it a toilet or a restroom or a bathroom? Because the toilet is the room with the toilet in, and the bathroom is the room with the bathroom. <laughs> so, so what's a loo? A loo is a toilet. So it's just a toilet, no hand washing station or anything. No, mm -hmm. it has it sinks in it. So what's a water closet? What? <laughs> That's like a, a room with just is. a probably just a sink. Um, yeah, we don't have biscuits. No, we have scones here in the states too. Biscuits. Uh, you should. Biscuits are unique. Oh. I'll, I'll have to push. I'll post biscuits in the food and eat on Discord. You it guys can, can join Discord, and I'll, I'll post a picture of biscuits and gravy so you can see what it's like. You, you should I try really some like cheese the... biscuits. Yeah. This road is so small. <laughs> <laughs> we get cheese we'll get biscuits. There. We get those from uh, Red Lobster. Yeah, but you can make them. They're just dough with a bit of cheese, and you cook it in the oven for 30 minutes. Unctus, I hope you're okay. The SWAT welder just exploded. I hope you're all right. How did it explode? Somebody crossed something. Yeah, I, I hope you're. I hope you're okay. I hope nobody got burned, um, <clears throat> or injured in any way. Hopefully, it's, hopefully it's salvageable. And that too. Okay, I'm gonna pull off to the side here. Which way have you been going? Huh? Which way have you been going? You've been uh, you're the road? same way you're going. Yeah. You've been doing nothing but following the road, right? Yes. Okay. Because there's not a shorter route that is legal. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah, I looked though. I I definitely looked. But the uh, field basically goes right up against the grass, and so it's too risky. <laughs> there wasn't there wasn't any room to move over there. But holy crap! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dragus 2000 show. If this is your first time here, feel free to join us in chat. Um, I, one of my absolute favorite things about streaming is chatting with my viewers. Uh, I try to remember where everybody's from and what they got going on and stuff like that, but um, I just I can't remember every little detail. <laughs> it's not humanly possible for me, at least. I don't know. I'll take the grass path. There's not a grass path. Yes, there is. Nothing but crap. What are you transporting? That's not really board? faster though. I mean, if you were just right up the street, just a little ways. Yeah, I can transfer equipment. It's yeah, a lot better than going over the bridge. All going on here now is just uh, <laughs> wrapping and picking up and taking. Yeah. Oh, we we appreciate going. it. What are you oh. what, doing? What now? Darn. He's, he's picking up equipment and taking it back for us. Oh, okay, cool. If you want to leave that by our power washer, we can take care of that later. Yeah, come to. Sent you a picture of cheese scones. They're the same as your biscuits. All right, let me take a look. Yes, exactly. Okay, so British scones are American biscuits. Okay. Yeah, but they're not biscuits. American biscuits. American okay, biscuits. Said. Yeah, American oh. biscuits are your scones. Your scone. Do you want to send? I've got to send you a box of biscuits. And I feel like it's <laughs> sure. campground over here. I'll have to get a um, PO box for that kind of thing. <clears throat> um, shit for that. I, I just give around? him my actual address. <laughs> there you go. There's a there's UK biscuits. Did you put it in the food inning? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I've, some... I've, 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 we have like some, like, um, there's like these Christmas cookie tins that come out each year that have those in them. Oh, that's oh, what you we just buy them off the shelf. Yeah. We, we get those, and yes, we, we get them at Christmas, and then after you're done, you turn it into a um, sewing kit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Because okay, all their parents had one little sewing kit. 
But I thought those were Danish biscuits that we got that around Christmas time. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be British anyway. biscuits. We don't get a lot of British stuff over here. No, like and and it's usually like it it uh, is seasonal too. Like it doesn't come out. Like for example, Cadbury eggs. We can't. We can only get them during Easter usually. Yes. Oh yeah, right. we can only get them during Easter too. Yeah. The problem is with Cad Cadbury eggs. eggs aren't even made by Cadbury anymore, and they changed the recipe, so that they're what? not good anymore. They're made in England. They're made by Cadbury's in England. That was always Cadbury. a childhood disappointment, going for the biscuit tin and finding needles and thread. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I feel I don't your know pain there. See, in I... here, we, we get biscuit tins, we get sweet tins. So so. <laughs> See, and the other thing was those candies that were black licorice flavored that everybody hated, but I loved. Oh, uh, that lovely. See, I, I like black, black licorice. licorice. Uh, I'm weird like that, I guess. Um, but I, I just, I, I like black licorice. Now I can't so, eat as much black licorice as I could like regular licorice, but. That's I, only I because like it. it turns your poop green. <laughs> Um, the, whatchamacallit, um, red rope licorice, that, that's pretty good stuff. The one that's like basically a jump rope. Red lines? Oh, no. No, no, like... the jump rope, the really long one you, you get at like amusement park. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, Dollar Tree has, uh, this Aussie licorice that's black or cherry, or strawberry, I don't remember. I'd only get the black, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's really good. It's, I haven't found one that was hard. It's always soft and chewy, like licorice is supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, you should. Do you guys have jelly babies then? Yeah, they I mean, make those here. We call them gummy bears and gummies. No, he, he, if I'm thinking right. You're talking jelly beans, right? No, jelly babies. No, nah, I don't know. Oh, What's we got jelly bellies, not jelly babies, is what I was uh, thinking. I'm going to pass you. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm gonna uh, be back honest. to the main farm. Uh, which ah! go all the way up to the road where the all of this road straight up and you'll get to the farm actually okay. don't don't take a turn you'll get there all right <clears throat> on this yeah mister I can go 32 but I can only go 25 oh yeah okay. turn on my turn signal how do you turn on your turn signals? I haven't even figured that one out yet. It's uh one for set. left, uh three for right, and two for hazards, and that is on your numpad. Yeah, I see that because three makes it auto drive. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> the numpad, so those are the buttons over there. Awesome. Oh. I learned something new today. I feel like everyone in chat's got a gift, uh, got a sub. <laughs> I wonder who I, did that. <laughs> Thank you again. Adam? No, oh, that's awesome. Wait, where's Adam? Adam uh, just went uh, to, the to the bank, probably. He had to go to the bank today. <clears throat> Don't you do it online? Well, there's so, some things you have to do in person here in the States at the bank, so. Ooh, Anctus is starting to heist. Looking forward uh, to the reply of the seller. Not sure how they're going to explain the spot while they're exploding on the second use. Yeah, I hope nobody got injured, man. I hope nobody got injured. That sounds very dangerous. Like, very dangerous. Um... Yeah, that's wild. Are you having another car battery explode? I've never yeah. had a car battery explode, no. No. Just don't I've drive seen... in the water. <laughs> well, they're not supposed to be thrown in water. Then why do they say marine on them? Oh. <laughs> well, you're using the wrong one. <laughs> um... 
one thing that I think is pretty crazy is like, uh, I, I think it's like just a straight out block of salt if you toss it into water. What will that do? Maybe it'll explode. <clears throat> I think it's salt. I think it, it might be something uh, You else. mean uh, liquid, what is it? Sodium carbonate? No, it's a solid piece because you, you throw a chunk out. I've seen people on like YouTube like throw a chunk of this thing. It's like something it's so, that's like. Um, I think by. it's sodium carbonate. Yeah, could be. Um, I don't know. I, I'd have to look it up, but it's pretty wild. Oh, you mean dry ice? No, dry ice. You put it in a wide mouth Mountain Dew bottle that's empty, then add a little bit of water, put the cap on, and throw it. Makes a uh, big boom. We used to, we used to do that on a bus, but nowadays mm. can't do that because it might be classed as a terrorist defense. We are forty percent transported so far. We're at fifty-two percent progress. Nice. Hey, we've got more money than you. Do you? At the moment. At the moment, yeah. Oh, well, I gotta wait for this person to cross the street anyway, so let me take a look. How much money do you guys got? $195,000! They only got us by 10k. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, we had, we worked from 8k this morning. Yeah, yeah, you guys did get down to pretty low. All kinds of people crossing the street right there. You need to get off run the main road. Just run them over. I'm trying not to. <laughs> if they're walking in the main street and they're not giving you way, then, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're on a crosswalk, though, they're safe. They're safe from the Drake. I thought it was just worth 10 points instead of 20. <laughs> well, it's actually worth negative 5 points if you hit them in the crosswalk. Oh, okay. You lose points, yeah. So what happens if they're walking on the sidewalk? <laughs> if they're walking on the sidewalk, <laughs> then that's like minus 10 points for hitting them. But what if you I keep... uh, tell you. See, you're taking my scoring system away. I, I was way up there. Now, now I'm in the negative. <laughs> yeah, if you hit them when they're in the middle of the road, though, where they're not supposed to be, then you get 10 points. Okay, I guess I'm gonna just gonna have to play on that road by the house. <laughs> I'll tell you what, um, they're con those guys called? are constantly walking in the middle of the road. The Simpsons hit and run is an amazing game. They Simpsons hit the and run? Yeah, if they update the graphics on it, it was like a PS2 game. It would be amazing. Huh. I, I don't think I've played that really one. They are walking on the sidewalk. You've got other issues than hitting them. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know, man, like, no. by the way, never do that in real life. <laughs> never, never, never. That's what we have video games. Look for. at you driving on the wrong side of the road again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just used to driving on the way. <laughs> you're all he like, works. hey, I'm trying to be legal here. And you're like, yeah. no, no, you're no, in the wrong country, <laughs> wrong country gonna catch it no you don't have to go off road i was gonna pass you on no, no i was gonna go off anyway oh because i need to take this back to our little foresty area and then go get some uh, fish oh okay so, yeah sat in the deep fryer at the moment so that was uh blue and he's a part of the paul bunyan lumber company so we got two essentially two farms on on the on the server at the moment we got Drake's farm, which we handling, uh, we're handling animals and crops and things of that nature. And then there's uh, Pepperidge Farms, which there's nobody playing on Pepperidge at the moment. Uh, and then we've got All Bunyan Lumber, which is the lumber company for <coughs> for the server. But Pepperidge Farms is set up so you guys can play with us. If you wanted your own arm situation yeah yes indeed yeah, there um, seems to be a dead rabbit in the road 
I did a not dead hit rabbit it, I in promise. the road. I didn't see it. Might have been underneath the foliage, but I didn't see it. Yo, they should totally add rabbits into the game. As the uh, the next, well, I think the next animal needs to be no, more like involved. Wild rabbits that just run around in the Oh, fields. wild rabbits, yeah. Or oh, like, uh, was it deers running around? Or having goose? Having some geese flying around, that's, that'd be what it Yeah, I, I, I agree with Chris, though. I think having cranberries in-game would be amazing. <clears throat> I don't think they're going to do that for the next... What about black cone? Blackberry bushes? Good. Oh, I don't know. Because over here we have a load of blackberries, but you have to pack, pick them by hand, and a lot of the Polish workers come over to do that. Hmm. Because a yeah. lot of the English workers are too lazy to do it themselves. <laughs> but isn't that the same thing with the Mexican workers here in the states? Yep. Well, I mean, it's gotten a lot better since, uh, yeah, since the UK re reclaimed itself. There is a lot of bales for us here. Holy crap. Do you get, guys get the profit off the bales? We will. Oh, okay. uh, we're still sit, We're still waiting on those other bales uh, to ferment <clears throat> at the moment. Because um, we got, we had a bunch left over after the contract. Mm -hmm. And I'll be right back with you guys. They just have not fermented into silage yet. Us to right. turn into money. What top of the wee morning here? Yeah. To you as well. It's not morning for you anymore. <laughs> nah, it's evening for me now. What time is it for Stay me? morning for you. Noon. Noon, ah, noon. Top noon. of the wee afternoon then. Top of the afternoon to you as well, sir. Okay. So the I problem is with being uh, talking to British people, some. Like, if you're from the valley over, you don't understand people with another accent because it's too thick. Yeah. So there's a bit, you know, hard to grasp. Do you run into that a lot? Yeah. Surprisingly, yeah. The French people can understand most British people better than English people can understand English people. <laughs> you love going to picking blackberries and making pie with them, Genghis. Nice, dude. It's not much the accent, it's more of the slang that they use. That's fair. I mean, that's that's the same here in the States. I mean, like, we, you know, one thing that I think that um, people in Europe and the UK tend to forget is that the United States is 50 countries united under one federal government. Um, and so there's a lot of differences between the different states and there's different accents and different slangs that are used. Um, but you can still drive between all of the states without a passport, except for driving up to Alaska because you have to go through Canada <laughs> to get there. If you wanted to drive all the way up there. I thought it was 51 states. No. We're still I thought they were adding a 51 states. We're, well, there's there's talks of it, of adding a 51st state. Because right, Puerto Rico wants statehood and... Um, D.C. And D.C. D.C. really needs statehood, though. Like, but it would be weird because it would be a city-state, literally. Yeah. Uh, it, it still, it needs it because it, it's the only one that doesn't have, um, representation and stuff like that. It's really weird how DC works. I don't they even do fully understand it. What's that? They have one. They have one person that represents it. I'm pretty sure. It might as in Congress, but they don't have a senator. All right, well, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go munch down on some stuff. Sure thing. Enjoy. So, um, 
Yeah, this contract that we're working on right now, $98,000 for the straight out pay. And then whatever we end up with when these uh, bales actually translate into silage bales. <clears throat> Which it usually takes um, 48 hours for them to turn into silage bales in seasons under our current settings. And if you're playing seasons and you wrap the alfalfa bell, it automatically turns to silage. Which is amazing. We learned that the other day. Um, Genghis Connage rolled a 64 and won 20,000 Drake booty. Now up to 161,914 booty. Congratulations, sir. He got any money that he can play with. <laughs> He's got he's got some booty to play with. He's got some Drake booty to play with. Play with that booty. <laughs> oh man. Oh the 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 Drake booty makes me giggle. I, I like it. <laughs> what is the island in the Pacific that we have Guam? Of? Guam. They're wanting statehood as well. They they should have it, I think. And but if they if they get it, I feel that it it should include like Wake Island um but here's the thing they midway. want it for the they want it for the benefits but they don't want to pay the taxes i mean they don't see get... at least puerto rico's paying taxes right now to us well yeah puerto rico definitely that's really needs the statehood i feel but i feel that if uh puerto rico goes statehood that it should include the United States Virgin Islands in it as well. I feel, I feel that that, but they might not want that. Virgin Islands might not want that. I don't know, but I feel like it should be an option that if Puerto Rico is about to get statehood, that the Virgin Islands should be allowed to be included in that. Yes, they should be. Because they're literally right next. I mean, you, when I was living in St. Thomas, you could see Puerto Rico from my house. Um, or correction, my dad's house. But, you know, I was 16 at the time. So it was my house as well, living there for a month. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. No, interesting though. How was St. Thomas? I I liked it. Um, I just ran into a pole. <laughs> I I liked it. Are you it. trying to pole dance again? Yeah, yeah, I was trying to pole dance. Um, it's it's like a it, I don't know. It was it was a great relaxing place. Um, uh, I didn't have to like attend school there or anything, so that might have been different. Um. But like as far as like going there for a vacation, heck yeah. My buddy Ferret and I are actually going to be going there um, sometime in the future, probably 2022. Uh, when, the, to, when the virus shit gets over. Yeah, whenever whenever this pandemic calms down, we're gonna head over to uh, St. Thomas to um, spread my dad's ashes there. Oh, because. He, my stepmom, her ashes were spread there, so he wants to be there with her. Well, I figured that it would be good for them to be together, because they were they were married for like the majority of my life. <laughs> so they had a connection. So he didn't he didn't have a statement where he wanted it done. What do you, What do you mean? Where he wanted his ashes ashes spread? No, he, he didn't, didn't. He didn't have a will. Um, he didn't have a will that like stated anything. See us in nature. the military. We know better than that, right? Yep. <laughs> well, and and I've told my friends and family too. Like, you know, whatever you do, don't bury me in an expensive coffin. That's a waste of money. I just want to be cremated. Yeah, I'm. I'm just like, don't do that. That's <laughs> such a waste of money. <laughs> Um, that was one of the hardest things I ever did in the military was filling out my will. Oh, yeah. 
18 years old to happen to do that and knowing that it was a possibility that it would be used. That's right. Very, very real possibility. Um, I didn't even check like what the percentage of the delivery was at, but we're pretty good. Uh, it? We're at 59% on the standard one, so. 59% on like the whole contract? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're probably in the 50% range on the delivery. It's me wrapping these bells that's taking so long that's causing it. The more I get wrapped, the more it will go up. That and the... Delivery. Know, the, the delivery does take a long time because that... But there's not a direct route. To, if we get close to 90%, I want you to stop the deliveries until I get finished wrapping. Okay. So we get as much for our farm as possible. Sure thing. Um, and so you know, you know how each job in the military has a life expectancy. Yes. So mine was three point eight seconds. Oh boy. Well, that's because we were always dropped behind enemy mines. Yeah. <clears throat> Bad, and they want the forward observers out first, so they normally targeted us. Yeah. Certainly don't want you to stay around to be able to call in planes and ordnance. Planes, ordnance, ship fire, anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> let's see here. I'm kind of curious, like, what other mechanics that they have planned for 22, though, because of that, um, whatchamacallit? That podcast that I listened to had like one of their hosts of the podcast was like talking about these new mechanics that he's excited about, but that they are not ready to announce yet. So I don't know. It'd be interesting to find out what they got going there. I, I think it's cool that they're going to be bringing seasons into the farming simulator 22 as a default i'm interested to see what giant's take is on seasons as opposed to what the mod has to offer um but as i find out more information i will be bringing that to you guys over on the drinkage 2000 youtube channel um i've already posted one video on farming simulator 22 but it's a very short video because there's not there's not much information out there just yet they're also bringing some mud runner into it. Oh, that'd be cool. In certain situations, that would be cool. It'd kind of suck to get your your tractor stuck for a season inside your uh, inside the ground and stuff. Ooh, lordy. We got some maintenance to do on this tractor and hello hello some gas welcome, welcome back. back holy crap look at all these i feel like i'm not even making a dent <laughs> do you guys need help with the payment if you want to uh, grab one of our baler or stackers we could honestly use it yeah if you if you grab the um so it's at baywa right now there's a tractor that has the other uh, trailer with it right now. Is that the one? That the Baywa? It's just past the animal dealer on the right hand side. Yeah. We have a tractor already set up with uh with a a bale trailer. Okay, okay I've got it. How many unwrapped bells are down there, Drake? Uh, there's a couple. Okay. Um, I'm trying to do the far end. The, the yeah, I'm just shorter and shorter each time. I'm just trying to get them wrapped. <laughs> oh, I know. At least you don't have guys? to pay for the plastic wrap. <laughs> Yeah, 
I know there's a mod that does that, but I don't want that mod. So then we'd have to go buy the plastic and then like transport it, it just Well I haven't that 61 then. We're still working on it. Yeah, but you're on 59, aren't you? No, we're on no, 61. No, we're on 61. Oh, my map's bugged out now. Is it showing that we're on 59 or something? Yeah, it's showing that you're on 59. Well, where's 59? 59. 59 is That's up there. It's above you. Yeah. Yeah. You already drove down here once, man. You we're in the we bottom right-hand corner of the map. He drove down here to pick up the farm equipment. Yeah. Hey, there we go. That is a lot more bales left to pick up. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I, I got a bunch over here. You're as mad as about. Oh, my. Oh, God. Now, look at that. Look at that. Look at all those bales. He's still rapping, too. Oh, you rapping them now? I've been rapping. That's yeah, because the, 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 the customer wants these wrapped, so. And we're going to want them wrapped for our place, too. Yeah. Since they're already billed. All right. 18 viewers at the moment. Okay. Yeah, man. We got it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that follow button. It goes a really long way in helping the channel out. Uh, I am live Wednesday through Sunday, 1030 a.m. Central Standard Time. And usually again on Saturday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you check the schedule down below, it will translate that into your time zone. And the reason why I say usually on Saturday and Sunday is because sometimes I'm a little too tired for the evening streams and stuff like that. But over here on Discord is the best way for you to find out when I'm live, when I'm and all that fun stuff. We've got a great community of gamers over here playing multiplayer games together and stuff like that over there. Uh, as well as you can find the information to be able to join us on the server. Uh, and, and it looks like after Blue's generous donation of subs today, I'm going to start looking into what it's going to take for a dedicated farm sims server um and what i'll need to do to get that all set up so that we'll have the farm sim going all the time rather than me hosting it directly on my computer as i'm doing it right now <laughs> um yeah and genghis Connage has just started a heist so ladies and gentlemen if you get in on this heist all you gotta do is type in explanation point heist and the amount of Drake booty that you are willing to risk. You can risk anywhere from 10 to all. And uh, whoever has the most Drake booty at the end of today's stream will end up with a gift sub from yours truly. My way of giving back to my community uh, for being here and uh, having a good time with me. And I really appreciate it. Uh, however, if you already have a sub, then uh and you want to give that gift sub that i'm going to give away to somebody else then just let me know when we get to the end of the stream and uh we'll figure that out together and we'll see where we're at yeah meanwhile we are working on a contract where we have to work on these silage bales for a while but we're getting kind of close to done i think we're like halfway done at this point Roll over. Yeah, like we got it. We got all the grass cut. I, I did that earlier in the stream and um, a little bit before the stream. <clears throat> and then um, so I'm actually going to we're going to keep playing the game after the stream. Um, by the way, we have two hours left on the stream, so like plenty of time. Oh, I might go live after then. Um, but we'll continue to play the game after that just so that uh, You know you guys aren't Watching the same thing over and over and over on the stream um, <clears throat> But we have uh, Some exciting stuff coming up later Today during the stream uh, we have 
the Triticol and the Wheat Harvest about to happen. So that's really exciting because that's going to be our, um, going to be our first harvest. Oh, ooh, the thunder, the entire thunder of Drake's returns. The so Doc J and Genghis Connage came back with some Drake booty. Congratulations, sirs. Yeah, yeah. Time to lose it all. I'm going to have to write a new adventure for the heist too coming up here real soon. Doc J gambles it all. Rolls a 67 in one 20,000 Drake booty. It's now up to 49,576. Woo! A lot of booty. Yeah, I will have to just give him away 100k. <laughs> yeah, but whoever ends up, uh, whoever ends up winning, uh, will have their Drake booty reset. Everybody else will be able to keep their booty. Um, so I'll give whoever's the winner a chance to spend their booty on one of the redeems um, that are down there. And we'll go from there. All right. So in the meanwhile, I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. Thank you so much for joining me. There's many farm sim streamers out there and I appreciate you guys hanging out here on the Drake's 2000 show. It means a lot to me and uh, we are 56% transported. Ah, it means a lot to me, and I appreciate you for being here. Uh, yes, his servers go. Uh, can, I'm looking at this one. It's £6.21 a month for eight slots. For eight slots? Eight slots, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to probably look at a 16 slot server because we're starting need more people <laughs> like there's there's more people if, if i'm gonna do it kind of thing i don't know i'll look at it after the stream i'll start looking around but the thing is is like i can't afford personally to be solely responsible for the financial cost of the of the server which is why I wanted to avoid year roads. What's that? 17 year road. Um, for one month. For one month? For one month, 17 yeah. years. I just, I just can't justify the overhead cost of that. Just yet. I could host it in England. I'm not going to host it in England. Marco84! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ooh, we'll have a heist here in a moment, bud. But I think, uh, welcome to the stream. And, uh, just another 126 seconds from the time of that message before another heist will be available. You guys are rocking over there. You guys are robbing the, the goblins of Tealmore. All of their booty. So you gotta watch out. They're the little crafty little buggers. I'll get you. I'll get you. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What does this sign say anyway? Oh, house figure, compost, dairy plant, air shawl, brewery, pig enclosure, sheep enclosure. It's actually, the sign, I like that the map maker put like legitimate signs. That's what I was saying last night. Yeah. It looks like I have two left and I'm going to drive around and make sure that that's all I have. Oh my. Like least, yeah. I, I, just like yesterday, I'm done with the rapper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that. Wait, like, like, as in you don't like it, rapping? I'm done with the rapping for today. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to do it no more today. <laughs> oh, no, that's fine. This is such a tedious task. Yeah, it is necessary evil though i know and i don't mind helping and doing it it's just not my favorite thing to do in the world yeah mine mine is uh plowing you don't like plowing not not particularly see i don't mind plowing especially when, now that we got that big plow yeah oh that's a nice plow too for sure that one helps out a lot 
It just it, it it just takes a really long time to get everything plowed is all. It's like running around with this. It, it takes a long time to just get them around. Yeah. I don't know. I I, I kind of I don't know. I I get entertained by the wrapping process, the animation. Hold it's up. fine for the first hundred times that you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, now, now all they see is white bells everywhere. <laughs> but imagine doing it in real life when you have to clear clogs and shit, and you gotta. Um, it wouldn't be as tedious then. <laughs> I I think it would be worse. Because oh, cause then you know, you'd be able to get out of the tractor for a little while. It wouldn't just be, uh, but I'd probably have to mow it myself, tether it myself, bell it myself, and then wrap it myself. Yeah. Then it'd be an all day affair. Probably a multiple day affair. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. All right. Kind of like that this field is back here in the boonies. All right. I'm going to take this back to the farm and I'm going to come back and grab the semi. Okay. And if Lou wants to, once I get the semi back, if he wants to stop doing that, I can switch over to it. Uh, don't mind, either or. Okay. And we're at 65% now. Yeah, we may, not get, we may not get much out of this. Maybe not. Hopefully, we get. A decent amount, though. I'm just up for a good time. You're just here for a good time? Heck yes. Mm -hmm. Don't say that around the port. Okay. It's kind of like that sea shanty about girls have, or sailors having a different girl in every port, but what nobody knows is those girls have a different sailor on every ship. Yes. It's also true. So what's this little town right here? Uh, I don't know. That's where the dairy, sugar cane, and a supermarket are. You just sell points? Yeah. Okay. They even give us directions on how to get back to the farm too on that side. Yeah, I know that's nice. Really nice. Hey. Yeah. One more bale to pick up, ladies and gentlemen. No, <laughs> we got for that trailer. <laughs> <laughs> All of these. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot of bales. A lot of bales. It's all right. I don't like uh so if you're new to the channel and, and and you're like going well drake there's this modded like bail trailer they can pick all these up in like one go i don't like that kind of that kind of stuff it feels cheaty to me so we use uh legitimate equipment now granted if i had bail spikes we could load up this flatbed trailer right there but that would take i think that would take longer than this auto trailer does of the two auto trailers do yeah because you'd have to bail spike it off too yeah exactly you'd have to bail spike it off well i could just unstrap it and freaking turn hard uh oh <laughs> yeah but you're not guaranteed to get them all in the right spot with that either nope you're not if we were running round bells you could stack it up and all that would have to do is unstrap and do that though yeah <laughs> Get them to all roll off the back. And just roll away. Well, they just disappear every time it hits. Pink, 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 pink. <laughs> you should really show the stream the waterfall. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll check that out. Are you going super slow? Me? Yeah, I'm going super slow. Okay. I don't know. I'll, I'll speed up. Just checking. No, yeah, I was wondering, like, maybe you set frozen. the um, cruise control low. No, I was just going to see slow. No problem. Yeah, I'm using the steering wheel at the moment. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I don't have room on my desk for one. Does that actually help with the gameplay? Yep. Yeah, it especially does. with driving. Because if you look at Drake's thing, it's super touchy. Oh, yeah, like each each turn, it's like instant fully over. Yeah. Um, I'll, have, I'll have to look at getting me one of those later. Getting, so like, getting a what wheel. Is it, 60 pounds off Amazon. Oh, Marco, get in on that heist. I know you wanted in on a heist earlier. Get in that heist, bud. Explanation point heist and the amount of Drake booty that you're willing to risk. Doc J got in on it. So, fun fact, a thunder is a group of dragons, just like a murder is a group of crows. He's ah, stopping. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to pass you. I tapped over and I tried to gift 100 subs. Oh. <laughs> when I was trying to type in chat. Oh, lordy. That, that, yeah, no, no more gifts for me. Aww. At least not for now. <laughs> Well, I appreciate the 80 gift subs that you gave out today. Holy crap. Jaguar says thank you, too. What's up, Jaguar? How you doing today? As you can see, now you have the little Drakeling hatchling egg. And uh, the longer that you continue the sub for, that egg will grow up and eventually hatch into a drake, and you will have your own dragon. Pretty cool. Thought that was fun. Okay. God, this pillar was dirty. Or this raffle <laughs> was dirty. The pillar is even worse. Yeah, I, I imagine the wind rower and the mower is pretty good too. They're they're pretty bad too. I'm washing everything right now. I'm gonna put it away for and get semi. Problem with this this bale trailer is that I can't see through my mirrors. <laughs> That's what third person's for. Ooh, Anctus with the cat jam. Anctus and Doc J made it out. The entire thunder of Drake's. Ooh. Ooh, all of them made it out. Good up, guys. Yeah. We got, a, we got quite a few bales to move. But I'll give you guys a... a a tour here in a little bit. Your forest is almost deforested. Uh, is it? Yeah. Wanted to avoid that person and then almost hit that car. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Ooh, Anctus is in the lead with 291,000 Drake booty. Knack Attack right behind him with 170,000. Second place. Nanita Wee Wee, 168,000 Drake booty. Angus Connage not that far behind though, 163,000. I don't really count, and neither does Ferret. E Gold doesn't count either. Um, but we hold on to our booty so that we can give it away at different points. <laughs> yeah, I have fun with that. Um, yeah, I know it's a lot of back and forth at the moment, but we got to get this job done so we can get paid. <coughs> I don't know what the button is to lower with this. Uh, Y thing. is the... Okay. Is the unload. Uh, reload it. Yeah, and you gotta put it on that one spot that I was just at. Alright. I'm behind you anyway. Okay. Just run over pedestrian. Did you get it unloaded in the right spot? Yeah, did you get the money? We don't get the money yet. Well, okay. I didn't. I didn't pay attention. We're at seventy-eight percent now, so yes, he did. Okay. Um, be careful dropping off the pallets now. 
do one trailer first and we'll see where we're at yeah but i'm wondering if it's going to count um because he's a part of the the other farm at the moment if it if it took him it counted yeah i mean i don't know did you guys get any money i wouldn't know don't think so only farm management can see that can't they uh oh okay so non-farm no you guys can see the money uh well yeah we didn't get any money from that okay We're then it probably that, counted that, the cash thing yeah you just hit the cash symbol on that and it will tell you if you got it or not probably counted i'm just concerned slightly well just there, it was only going up like five percent at a time and it went from 65 to 78 so oh, okay that's what I was seeing. Windrower yeah. goes in the John Deere barn, correct? Uh, I was putting it where the big plow is. is where yeah, the where the John Deere combine was when we first bought the place. Oh, that you got rid of. Sure. I never saw but it, so I don't remember. I call that a John Deere, the John Deere barn, the drive through. Yeah. Well, you can only drive through half of it. No, you can you can drive in one side and it comes out on the same side as the pressure washer. There's two doors in that where we park. Yes, it. but there's two sections to that. Barn yeah, that are um, separated. We, we by wanted the wall. in the two door one. Yeah. Don't yeah. the way morning to your ladies. To you as well. Um, I love that cat jam emote. I don't know. I just think it's fun. But you okay, can sure. tell that there was somebody that was pushing the cat head <laughs> to make him do that. By the way, did you see my meme that I posted last night? Uh, I probably responded to it with a wall. The horse Someone, one? The horse one? Yes, I saw the horse one. <laughs> Someone posted a picture of a toast sandwich, which was interesting. Yeah. Yeah, toast head really buttered and add salt and pepper to taste. Yeah, that's just, you, you just call that a fried toast. So, ladies and gentlemen of chat, today's question is, why did the pig take a bath? If you have an answer, let me know in chat. You already know the answer to it, though, from yeah. earlier in the stream. <laughs> and that's, that's, wait a little bit before you answer. But... Um, so why did the pig take a bath is today's question. And, uh, we'll find out what chat has to say here in just a moment. See if they're better than I was, because I had no clue. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys another little bit of time. To come up with an answer for that. Um, before I give it away. I wish I could lock the back wheels on these trailers from turning. Yeah. That's what I've been saying for a while. I wish I could lock the, the wheels on articulated trailers. Um, so the answer is why did the pig take a bath? Because the farmer said hogwash. <laughs> oh no, Genghis Conage rolls a six on the gamble. Loses 10,000 Drake booty. Oh, feels bad, man. Feels bad. Hey. Dude, that gamble is just not your friend this month at all. <laughs> like, last month, Genghis was, like, kicking butt with that. I know, right? Genghis Connage with a dun-dun-dun. No, I mean, like, last oh. time, last month, you were just killing it with that. <coughs> uh, with those gambles and everything. Um, and this month, I guess it's making up for that. It's like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, Satheris, welcome back. Welcome, Raiders, to the Dragage 2000 stream. Satheris, thank you again so much for the second raid 
today. It's so lovely to have you, sir. How's your guys' farm going over there? Assuming that you were playing farm sim today, let's get a uh, let's get a shout out for Sathris. My mods are away right now, so I gotta do this manually. God, I hate maneuvering this without Damn. the trailer on the back. Let's see what random clip it decides to choose today. Oh, good. You got your first field plowed in. Nice. Cleared a lot of trees. That's right, because weren't you playing on um, uh, No Man's Land, right? I think you were playing on No Man's Land. Yeah. Oh, that thing didn't work. Why didn't the shout out thing work? <laughs> hmm. Normally it plays like a little clip. Oh, oh it was just delayed. Okay. There. <laughs> oh, Mountain Blade too. I love Mountain Blade. Love Mountain Blade. Lou's trying to race me here. Bulls Gap. Yeah. Okay. I haven't played on that map yet, personally. I'll have to check that one out. But again, thank you for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. So lovely to have you here. Um, again, my name is Dragage2000. I am a variety streamer. However, Farming Sim has very rapidly become my primary game. Um, but um, tomorrow night, I will be doing Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord on the stream at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I thought you were doing CK. Oh, uh, well, I'm trying to get that organized. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because I want to do Crusader Kings 3 with, like, Domtastic Gaming and uh, Morjean Boo Boo. So, like, I'm trying to organize that. I'm trying to convince Domtastic Gaming to come play that game with me. <laughs> So that we can uh we can get a multiplayer stream of crusader kings 3 going it is a daunting game though to get started in um because it's very very complicated you need to update your banner lord and play it again yeah man it's a good game very good game they introduced uh new battlefields and stuff to the game and uh before long they are actually planning on um, making it so that where you are on the campaign map uh, matters for like what battlefield you're actually playing in. Like right now, it just kind of like randomly chooses. Uh, oh, you're in a forest. Okay, I'm just going to randomly choose out of my forest maps kind of thing. Um, so it's pretty useful how close are you you're really close aren't you yeah no you you're far i'm not that close yeah okay i'm gonna be stopping at the stop sign i love how it says stop but it's a yield sign i know like some well, of them, they is, use a legitimate a stop. stop sign though. no a yield is a slow down make sure nothing's coming and go a stop is a stop <laughs> Yeah, uh, yield is a stop sign in the UK, pretty much. Oh, is it? Yeah. Here in the here in the states, yield means make sure that there's no cross traffic, and then you're good to go. It's a slow down and get, like make sure you're safe. Sign. Yeah, the patch that you last played was like that. You think? Uh, glad they're working on it though. Yeah, I know, definitely. I'm looking forward to Bannerlord releasing like their mod tools uh, and then we'll start seeing more and more complicated mods at that point. Um, specifically like full conversion, um, like Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones would be kind of fun. Um, but like, I don't know. I, I look forward to that. Stop is stop. I know, right? Nah, nah. At least not where I live. No one listens to that. Everyone just stops. Because you normally get T-boned by a bus. You probably don't want to do that. Where I live, you don't have to worry about getting T-boned by the bus unless you're out during school hours. 
<laughs> you played a lot of the Game of Thrones mod for Mountain Blade. Yeah, I didn't play that much of it. The one that I played on uh, Warband was uh, Prophecies of Pendor or something like that. I think that's what it was called. Um, but that's the one that I played a lot of. Though, um, I don't know if you've ever played the game, uh, Kenshi, but that game is awesome. Um, so it's a, it's a hard to describe game, Kenshi, because Kenshi has, like, a lot of different ways that you can actually play Kenshi. And, uh, so you can play it as a strategy game, you can play it as a role-playing game you can play it as a trade simulator you can play it as a colony simulator so, like there's just a lot that you can do with it and uh it, it's pretty right wild yeah don't worry i got lost okay you're coming this way okay i'm not gonna be able to <laughs> oh, God. back up and turn around so i gotta go this way Okay. Well, let's see when you put it on that hill section over there. If you go the other way around the, the building, though, next time, that's easier. Okay, yes, it's counting. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. I just wanted to make sure we weren't wasting the bales. Yeah, see, in the states, that's a yield sign, not a stop sign. Yeah, that's a, that's a giveaway. Yeah. Which, in the states, that sign basically means, like, if there's traffic, then stop. If there's not, then you're good. And I'm at a half a tank of gas and half a, almost half on maintenance also. So, um, it shouldn't have, you know, exactly. It shouldn't have had stop written on the, on the street itself. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know, but the, the map maker for this map, I, I love this map. This map is very detailed. Uh, it's very realistic looking. Um, it's because of the name, I'm assuming that it's supposed to be in Germany. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. It could, could be Dutch also, but air salt me sounds like a a german name <laughs> oh yeah no it's german if you look <laughs> at that fire stations oh yeah miss those right we're like 80 percent done with this job which is pretty good though then we have the arduous task of taking the bales over to our storage at the biogas plant kind of far away kind of super far away but at least then the, you guys here on stream will be able to see uh some different terrain and stuff i head over there oh almost out of room there we go <laughs> yeah it's german okay cool yeah i thought it was it, it sounded german it looked german there's European road signs and stuff like that. So, what this map? I knew it was German. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you never fully oh, you know. I mean, like, because air salt could have been Dutch as well. Dutch, Belgian. Yeah. Cantonese. What, what, what language does Denmark speak? Dutch. Danish. Danish. Yeah. Yeah. They speak Dutch as well. Deutschland. Yeah. 
Okay. So, here we go. What language does American speak? American English. American. American English. We speak American. It's just, just American news. That's what it is. Uh, Spanish, too. Spanish is a massive language here. A lot of Spanglish. Yeah, there is a lot of Spanglish. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm surprised the uh, Canadians, they speak a bit of French. Only in uh, the okay. eastern side. Which, I, that's a bit odd, kind of thing. Well, it's because that's where France used to own that part of Canada. Way back in the day. Way back in the day. Way back before my time. <laughs> God. Why is it me only one to know how to do this? Knows how to do what? Back these trailers in here. <laughs> I don't know. You're the only one that, that can do it, though. I, I was trying it. I was almost there. What's up, Fire Panda 35? How you doing? What kind of fire do you have on your pandas? <laughs> Welcome to the stream, sir. I think this is the first time I've seen you in stream. Well, hello there to you too, Sathris. Um, welcome all the same. And Fire Panda, are you excited for Farming Simulator 22? Because I know I am. Oh, I am. Coming out later this year, in fact. Uh, Almost. Low boys, low boys back in play for getting the flat. Oh, the step back now. Well, my problem is getting, like, the step deck trailer is pretty darn long. Oh, you came in with the Sathras stream. Nice. Welcome, Raider. Lovely to have you here. And again, Sathras, thank you for the raid, dude. Oh, Panda's one of your mods. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. So, but that that full map that you guys are playing on, or that you're playing on, is it's kind of like No Man's Land, right? It doesn't have like a lot on it. You got to kind of make your own fields and stuff, if I remember correctly. For me personally, the kind of maps that I like is like this one, for example. Oops, saving content. Uh, I like it where, like. Look at that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six cell points on here. Got about 20 fields, but they're huge. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a, like the fields that we have on this map are like the largest map fields that I really care to deal with. It's based on Tennessee. Ah, oh, nice. I want to I want to make a map myself um when Farm Sim 22 comes out. Um I've never made a map before in this game, so I would have to learn quite a lot, but I think it would be fun that eventually like when the tool comes out for 22 to make maps um that maybe stream making that like uh, a couple times a week or something like that. It, it comes out earlier than the actual <laughs> game. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah, you get the. They give you a developer version of the game, so you can use it. Yeah, because that that'd be kind of neat. Like, uh, you know, build the map live here on stream with you guys, so that you can add your inputs and stuff. But I was thinking about making like a fictional area. Um, you know, not try to make something one-to-one -one scale or anything. Just kind of just make a map and we'll just call it Drake's Farm. Hopefully they'll release the code for the electric vehicles. Cause that's still under lock and key. Oh, that explains why there's no um, electric vehicle mods. <laughs> Also, thank you so much for the follow, Fire Panda. I appreciate it, sir. I like your name, too. You are Drakely number 1,841. We are so close to that 2,000 mark, and I really need 
to figure out what I'm going to do for the Drakish 2000, 2000 stream. <laughs> because um, I have no clue what I'm going to do for that. But I got to do something wild. I got to do something fun. You got to do something cool. You came up with the name when you were younger and just kind of stuck with it. Yeah. Uh, so for me, Drake Age uh, was a nickname that I had in the Navy um, because my last name is Drake. And um, and so like everybody just called me Drake Age that were my friends or whatever. And so <laughs> that's kind of how that came about. And then the number 2000 came because when I created my YouTube channel back in the day, uh, Drakeage was oddly taken and it's not normally taken when, when I go to create something or whatever. And so Drakeage was already taken. And so I was like, okay, well then I'll be Drakeage 2000. <laughs> and so, uh, that's where the 2000 came from. Plus like, uh, 2000 is the year that I graduated high school from. So that's why uh, that's Chris there. will be back in 15 minutes. You'll be back in 15? No, Chris. Chris will. Oh, cool. Nice. But yeah, so that's that's the story behind the Drakeage 2000. And the reason why everything is uh, dragon themed here now is because my coat of arms is actually um, dragon. So. But fun fact, my great ancestor is uh, Sir Francis Drake. Uh, he was a privateer and he went around sinking Spanish gold ship. And it was kind of funny because he told the queen, uh, he would basically like say, oh, hey, you know, this ship had, you know, X amount of gold on it. And he would take 40% off of that actual number. So he would keep 40% off of the top and then he would get paid his bounty on top of that. Unfortunately though, that didn't make my family rich um, because we have no idea where that money went. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, Rum. what's that? <laughs> Rum. Probably, <laughs> probably. Where'd all the money go? Oh, where'd all the rum go? Where'd all the rum go? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If, if, if it was anything like my dad, it was gambled away. <laughs> so. Alright. Yeah, there you go. Dude, the traffic is thick today. What the heck? We don't normally have this many cars on. It's probably because it's summertime. But we are very close to done here. What are you working on, Doc? Plain of manure. Oh, there you go. Do you like that skid steer a little easier to maneuver in there? Um, I'm still, it, it's easy to maneuver in here, but I'm still learning the controls for it. It doesn't grab it as easy as the bucket did. Oh. But it's just a learning curve. Yeah, you'll get it. Yep, I will. My problem with the skid steers is that they have a very sensitive steering. That's why you need a steering wheel. Yes, if I had a steering wheel, it'd be easier. This, this is probably going to be the last trailer. Going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> English. <laughs> Boom! Field 61 is finished. Okay, so now we have to take it up to the BGA plant. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> that is a drive and a half. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. That's what we're doing. I thought we were going to get to the harvest today. Um, We should be able to get to the harvest today. <laughs> Maybe we just do a marathon stream. What's gone? Jaguar? What's gone? What left? What's gone? 
The bales or the contract? I'm assuming you meant the bales. Either that, or you lost all your Drake booty recently? I'm not sure. Let me know. No, all I see in my rear mirror is your trash. <laughs> oh, whenever I turn? Yeah. Yeah. Like, burp, burp, burp. Cause I only have the extremes. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like whenever I, all I can see is your track turn there anyway. Oh, I got you. I'm all over the road at the moment anyway. You are. So I'm trying to clean up this manure and I cannot get it to lock in there and to the, get it go into the bucket itself. Oh, uh, uh, I can take a look at it later. Well, I'm just going to park this right here cause I'm going to go over to the BGA so I can start maneuvering that stuff when you guys get there oh well we're going to be storing it directly into the storage thing these ones aren't going to be ready for the oh uh, that's right for the hopper because they they're going to take 48 hours go single well, let white me line let me check for silage that we have here though it does have a solid white line yes yep no passing we're at 23 percent on this one too 23% on the one at the farm? No, the one we smashed down yesterday. Oh, okay, after, cool. The BGA. I'll check the farm one. Um, I guess I need to go to the bell storage. Uh, will, it tell, will it tell me there? No, you go down. It, it's at the, like, bunker number three. No, I was talking about the silage that we stored here. Oh, yeah. You would have to pull one out and then use the... The little remote control device. Why'd you miss the turn? I'm not sitting behind all that traffic. Well, we have we have the ability to pass. Here. Wait. Gosh, tooting down it. <laughs> yeah, down this part of the road, we can pass. Not a single white line there. Now I'll go back to uh, cutting trees down. It has so 20, it's at, it's at 59.79 hours, 20 oh. hours to go. Well, if you're headed back there, then, um, hand the trailer back over to Doc. Ah, oh. Yep. That way he can come. Oh, this is a single white line. Oh, well. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Oh, I'm going to report you to the fat who all this, mate. Yeah, don't tell the police. There you go, Doc. Okay. Thank you for your assistance. Vago, cut down some yeah. trees. This road is so tiny. Road so tiny. It's going to be very interesting in winter too, because like we're not going to have all these roads plowed and snow plowed and stuff. I guess we'll have to salt the roads that we're going to use like mainly right mm -hmm. yeah. Punctus has started a raid or a heist ladies and gentlemen type in explanation point heist and the amount of drake booty that you are willing to risk you can risk anywhere from 10 to all of your drake booty and again whoever has the most drake booty at the end of the month which is today uh will win themselves a gift sub to the channel if you are already a sub though to the channel, then um, you will be able to gift that sub out to whoever you want. So like, just let me know, like, hey, you know, thank you for the gift sub. I want to give it to Captain Umpty Scrunch. And I'll be like, okay. So it looks like uh, 10 or seven o'clock tomorrow morning, those silages will be ready to come out of there. Okay. But we're using those for the cattle anyways, aren't we? Uh, the ones that we already have in storage are for the cattle, yes. Yep. Yeah. Actually, I'll probably take them over to TMR once we have the green and the other stuff for it. Yes. Hey, or straw. Because I don't think we can use the alfalfa silage for that. I'd like to try, though. Yeah. We can certainly try. Gotta be careful with it. Fire Panda has joined the thunder of Drake's getting ready to head on over there and raid the goblin caves of Teal Moor. 
I actually might not need you here. Well, I'm already here, so I think. You're yeah, yeah. you're pretty much here at this point. I'm at the oh! dirt road. Oh! A thunder of drakes takes flight in the early morning hours. They seek out the treasures of the great caves of Tealmore. A fierce battle awaits them. The entire thunder of drakes returns from the goblin cave. Congratulations, guys. Good job. Get that booty. Get that booty. Fire Panda won 504 Drake booty. Onctus with 3,750. So this piece of my hair is really annoying. My cat decided to chew off that piece of hair. Like, so he cut it in half. And, and I can't, like, um, can't do anything about that. Is that all is of that them? Is that it? I think that's all of I, them. I don't know. I'll check the back of the field. Okay. I mean, that's not a whole lot compared to that small field that we did. That's true. Because we had like two trailers off the small field. Two and a half, actually. Yeah. It <laughs> looks like that's all of them, though. I don't see any over here. Yeah. All right. Uh, since it's on the trailer, go ahead and complete the contract. I'm going to get Before off you... the field first. Just in case. I don't know. Just in case. <coughs> um, but yeah, now I got to drive these all the way up to the BGA plant. Quite a quite a ways to go. You got something else to do? Uh, no, because we got to wait until tomorrow to harvest, I think. At the earliest. You can come in uh, to the we can, we can swap trailers. I can take them up there, and you can try to get that poop picked up in the... Yeah, I'll farm. try to get the poop picked up. Oh, did you want to drive this to the BGA? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm okay. saying that I can. All right, I'll go try to get that. Um, but That's it's good. one of our typical bale storage barns up there. Just so I can give everybody a little bit something different to see. Other than me driving these bale trailers all over the place, uh, but as you can see, that took uh, that took a lot of time. So let me go to the contract and collect our money. Ninety-eight thousand five hundred and seventy-eight bucks. Whew, you'd love to see it. Oh, this thing needs refueled too. Okay, I'm gonna do that. That's the one that he was using that said that you need to refuel it. Yeah. Okay, what's the fastest way back to the farm? Probably this right road. This way, this way right here. And then you just go straight. I think it's on learn. the right. It's not faster. Oh, I'm it's not faster. Be oh, okay, I see it. I see the way. It's not faster because I would have to go through the mountain. What? This other way gets me close to the waterfall, so people will be able to see that. You can actually take the road all the way to the waterfall and then go up to the base or to the house that way. I'm saying base. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's it's very easy to call the farm the base. <laughs> base I've, operations. I've called it that it's a, a few times myself. It's the boo. The boo. Base is of, of operation. Right. So I like being in first person for these areas of the map because it's easier to see what you're doing. Um, nobody over there. Nobody over there. You got there. a couple cars coming at you once you get out. No worries. All right. So. Uh, but we should have the wheat, canola, and triticol. Triticol, triticol, ready? I'm. I always trip over that word. It's triticol, triticol, triticale. I don't know. T r i t r i c l e or something like that. But either way, we have that crop ready uh, soon, probably. Uh, game time tomorrow. tomorrow. But it might be later than that, too. Because we did plant that a little late. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, we got that coming up. I just go straight here. Yep, just yep. go straight. 
Up and I'll take forward. you up there by 35 where the alfalfa field was. Mm -hmm. Boom, we're good to go. Ooh, we get to see more of the countryside. I also, I really like the rolling hills on this map. Until um, we're plowing. <laughs> until I'm plowing, yes. I already plowed though. I plowed field 29 and like three others. 31. 31 was a pain in the butt to plow. Because there's a couple parts where the hill just doesn't agree with you. Damn, and there we go. There's the there's the waterfall. Right there. And Ooh. it's pretty. Pretty. That's our wheat field off to the left here. Uh throwing up. It's probably gonna be a few days before we're ready to harvest. Looking at that field just now. Oh, well, once I get back, we can wash these up, park them, and speed up time until it's ready. Yeah. Oh, you could come and help for all this. <laughs> uh, you know what? We do kind of... Are you able to give us contractor rights to use your... It's on your field. It's, it's on your field. Oh, that's right. Oh, we can but bring we our own think. equipment up there. Yeah, yeah you have all your stuff. I can give you the attachment, can I? What I'll do is I'll bring my equipment up there and I'll get rid of the stumps. Or I'll work on that. Okay. So before we head up there, though, guys, let, let me give you a tour of our mm -hmm. situation over here. Um, so let me get this cleaned up. Do you have the 7 Series John Deere with you right now? I think you do. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. That's okay. one you were using. Maybe I'll use the 9X transport the crawler up there um but let me give you guys a quick tour of this awesome farm so we got our cultivators over here our slurry spreader this is our nine series sprayer then we got over here we've got our cows which i was gonna try to clean that up get that Get Sears in there with in the barn already. Damn. Let me see if I can get this cleaned up right here. A little bit of cow manure. Nope. Didn't work for me either. Wait, hold on. Okay. How will you work? Yes. Okay. So the problem was that the um the bucket was tilted. The bucket was tilted or the arm was tilted? The bucket itself was tilted. Okay, so that has to be flat. Yes. Okay. Cause I was trying to scrape it with the bucket is what I was trying to do. Yeah. So that's that that was the problem. The bucket needs to be flat. Okay. So, we'll put this manure in the manure site right over here. And that's got to smell good. The farmers around me when I was growing up used to always say, it smells like money to me. That's what it smells like. Yep. <laughs> All right. Boom. Okay. So in here, we've got all of our equipment for the cows. So this, this is a straw spreader. We don't have any straw yet, but we will. Uh, and then that's the silo keen to feed them with the cat, uh, trailer to move them, the water trailer. Um, and then the that skid steer nice. goes in there too. Over here, we have our, uh, cedars. Which we only have two of them at the moment. Um, but we want to get more. 
eventually. And then oops. so here. Gotta get another D9 as well yeah, since mine's been hijacked by Drake. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but that thing's <laughs> half a million dollars, so. I'm just giving you yeah. a little <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh hay storage grass storage silage storage for the bales and then we've got uh lime refill station herbicide liquid fertilizer solid fertilizer seeds and we got storage for the pallets right there and then straw bales can be stored right there lime spreaders the wrapper the baler the weeder we only have the small weeder because in seasons they only grow in in patches like tiny little patches so i didn't feel the need to buy a big weeder for seasons um so i'm gonna grab the crawler and get ready damn what? that's a lot of booty oh dude yeah Ankus just gave Base a hundred thousand booty. Woo! Thank you, Onctis. That's generous. All right. Don't know if it's gonna be wise or not for me to use the small low loader for this job. We're gonna find hey, out. Why don't you just <coughs> drive it up? Because it's very slow. Oh. So what trailer are you gonna put it on? This this uh the small low loader that we have. Okay. It should be okay, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Huh. So I guess I'm washing and putting away? Yes sir. Okay. Okay. We, we didn't leave any equipment down there, right? Yes. Nope. Okay, good. We, we have it all. We did not leave anything behind. Hey. Okay. So, in here, we've got this bad boy. You need... already washed yours, didn't you? What's that? You already washed yours. Yes. And yeah, that one just needs to be put away. Yeah, I'll get him put away. You're the most hardcore of lurkers. <laughs> and I really appreciate it, Base. I really appreciate it. Base is actually an old school follower of the channel. Um, Base, type in explanation point followage. Let's see how long that one is. <laughs> yes, see? Old school follower. Look at that, seven years and five months. I have not been streaming that whole time, so. <laughs> uh, I took four years off from streaming. And when you do that, your channel doesn't exist anymore. There. I wanna put it, yeah, I, this. It looks, it looks good, I would just put the bucket down on the deck. Yeah, I was concerned about the turning. I'll, I'll put it lower just to have a lower center of gravity. That's that's the reason why I was saying that I was just putting yeah. it on the deck. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's sliding off. Hold on, I gotta fix it. No, that. it's not. Yeah, it is slightly on the on the left. It's a little bit too far over on the left here. Are you going to be using the straps, the heavy straps? Yeah. Um, detach your attachment then. Really? Yeah. Trust me, it will help a lot. Okay. Alrighty. Then put your straps down. Ooh, this thing's heavy. How many tonnage is it? Oh, I don't know. Uh, but you can just see it like 
you can is... need the tonnage on the left hand side. It'll 26 tons. 26.5 tons. Cool. I think you're going to snap that trailer. <laughs> that trailer would have snapped on this. We should be using the low boy on that one. Yeah. Okay. Good to know for the future, though. <laughs> I didn't know how much that thing weighed. That, that thing's a tank. It really is. Because it should say two pieces of equipment, right? No, vehicle and implements count. It's just one. So you didn't get something strapped down? The It didn't count the header. Uh, then see if you can re... Give me a second, I'll come back over. Oh, it's fine. It, it's, it's on there. We're good. It's just... Ooh, it's a heavy beast. <laughs> okay, mental note. Don't put something that weighs 26, 000, 26 tons on this little trailer. This little trailer is not designed for that. I, I guess this trailer will use it primarily for the pallets. Or four pallets. Just do it! <laughs> Make your dreams come true! <laughs> Right, base? Just do it. Just do it. Uh, that one always makes me giggle. Okay. Here. It's still on there. It's still on the trailer. Yeah, I reconnected it. <laughs> oh, you reconnected the... Yeah, I, I hopped into it and connected it. Gotcha. YOLO! Man, it struggled to pull this thing up there, but that's 26 tons that it's going, so makes sense. That checks out. That's but it fits. Best, I know, right? If it fits, that's probably it the six. best tractor to pull it with. It's, yeah. <laughs> right. By the way, awesome news! You got keys to your new apartment today. Heck yeah, dude! I hope that it is a good day over there. Genghis Connage has started a heist. Ladies and gentlemen, get in on that heist. All you got to do is type in explanation point heist. And then the amount of Drake booty that you are willing to risk. Um, so this trailer might work for this, kind of, but on these dirt roads, not so much. <laughs> it's just shake, you know? Yeah, well, it's not, sh it, it's, it's trying to, it wants to fall off. Yeah but it's not going to because it's dropped down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me climb on up here to the forestry. There you go. Yeah, okay, good. There's a few stumps for me to grind. Up here. So this is uh, Paul Bunyan Lumber. They're working on our field at the moment. We have offered uh, to let them use the land for 10% of the yield. So, boom. Hang on. I'm gonna try and move this pile for you. Let me get working on these stumps here. Dude, I really like this. The sound of it, though. That's what I like. Sounds realistic. Yeah, we've played out quite a lot. Oh, okay. Right, well, that, that just chews through the stump like nearly instantly. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> done. <laughs> okay. Dude, this thing's awesome. If you're wondering what that money was, I was repairing the six. Okay. Oh, that's right, because we need to repair and refuel those as well. That's what I, I'm already on it. 
<laughs> um, now there's supposed to be a mode. So you can do the bushes? Yeah. Uh, Place ground cleaner. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that will work. I me, think you have me. to turn off this saw sort of thing. I don't know. You can also allow create fields. Yeah, it's a, also a cloud. Okay, that's not getting rid of those. Do you have to turn off your thing? Yeah, uh, actual machine. Turn off the machine to do yeah, it? Yeah, turn, turn it off. Does it do it? No. I didn't get rid of the... Hmm. Push it. Yeah, because it's like place ground cleaner and remove ground cleaner, but that's... Maybe there's another attachment that I'm missing. Chris got it for this one. Let me have a look. Yeah, when Chris gets back, I'll ask him how he did it. Unless you figure it out. Well, this is really nice, though. Me. I wouldn't mind, though, if it took a little bit more time to get rid of the stumps. Yeah. Stumps up here. Did that one? Yeah, I did. Nice. Okay. Over here. Get that one. Boom. One tree got cut kind of high. Yeah. See that one over the, on the uh, hill? Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright. At least if you can open your door, get a bit of fresh air. You can open the door on this thing? Yeah, if you click back to the main thing. The main tractor thing. And then press X. Press what? Uh, X. Zero. Zebra. Uh, On the main main tractor. Oh, I don't know. Like the, you know the main tractory thing? The main cab, oh, not the attachment. Oh, open door, there you go. Yeah. Okay, I see. Turn. Oh, oh. I don't know. I, if you said Chris got a torque, I'll, I'll ask him what he did. Yeah. Do it later when he's back. All nice and cleaned up. I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back. And here we go. Oh, that one didn't want to grind right away. All right, both of the Vulcas, white ones. I think we have a black one too now. No, that's theirs. They okay. bought the black equipment. 
I just saw it on the property, so I didn't know. Yeah. Thing's awesome though. Okay. Damn. I mean, like, this job does not take that long with this yeah. thing. That one didn't want to grind down initially. It just... <laughs> it's so fast. I think that's all of them. Nope, I stand corrected. There's one more. Right. Where about? Over there. Boom. Oh, down. You got that dump quick. Well, this thing's very fast. I just jump. Good job. So I'll go cut down some more trees now. <laughs> well, we'll come back and clear it later. Yeah. How's that nine looking on repairs and fuel? I probably need some. I'll check okay. it here in a minute. I'm just gonna leave all that stuff up there for right now. Nope, I'm taking it back. Okay. Roll S. And then yeah, so <clears throat> it definitely adds the vehicle weight behind it. Why are there still trees left? Because they've, they've been working. They're working on it. All right. I think they're trying to say they're not working hard enough. Wow, because okay. I didn't say that. I said, said chat. I think they're saying that. <laughs> that's what they're saying. Right? I think well, that's doing a wonderful job. Up. You've been gone for a while. Down this, also, down this hill is going to be a pain, though. And you also been helping us, so I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. This, uh... This dirt road, plus this trailer that's not really designed to handle this... It's, uh, very precarious. I, I would be extremely nervous doing this in real life. Like, <laughs> I actually, I just, I would refuse to do it. This trailer yeah, I was gonna like. say that's set up right now. I wouldn't haul it if you paid me a million dollars. Yeah, that's just asking for something bad to happen. Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, so on the map, does the alfalfa field still say? Um, checking right now. Harvested. I mean, we'll have yes. to check it. It is. We gotta wait till tomorrow to find out, though. Yeah, let's that check it alfalfa. tomorrow. If it's still not growing tomorrow. Oh god. Oh, that was close to the edge of that. If oh. it's still not growing tomorrow, we're gonna have to replant something there. Yeah. Which I think it should be another alfalfa harvest. <laughs> no, we can't do two al alphas. Oh, uh, we can't? No, like, uh, so open your seasons menu and then go to the crop uh, rotation planner. Okay. Um, Alt S. Is yep. that the plant thing? No, that's the rotating around the plant. Yes. Okay, it's all blank. Yes, and you add in like alfalfa as the first plant, and then you'll see what happens if you do. I like, can see what I can put in there next. You can't? I said, then I can see what I can put in there next. Yeah, yeah, so like if we go to the alfalfa. Because like if it's, I if you do two grass in a row for example, then you lose fourteen percent of your yield. Um, so we'll see. I've only got it planned out on my end for some of it. Well, I'll do the uh, I'll do the yeah, alfalfa. No, actually, it's the same for alfalfa is point nine five. If we do alfalfa again, it's point nine five. Okay, but then you got to look at like further down. Do a full rotation thing. We should be able to do three rotations of it, so I will do that. 
alfalfa's point nine five for the third. Right, and but there's a good. way to get that alfalfa up to one point two. And and that's that's what I'm getting at. Like we want to get it up. We want to get all of our rotations up to the all point. Right, give me a second. Where our primary crop for the field ends up at one point two. I really like this thing. I'm glad we got it. Okay, let's see here. All right, if we plant wheat next, and then do alfalfa again the next year, it goes up to one point four. The wheat will be one point two. Wait, which one goes to one point four? Hang on one second. Uh, I'm still working on it. Yeah. Let's get that rocking and rolling. I mean, I, I don't have a way of writing it down, but it, I, I have it in my crop point yeah. rotation. Yeah. Alfalfa is at 1.0 right now. Wheat is at 1.20. Alfalfa then drops down or comes up to 1.14. After the wheat? After the wheat. Then we plant corn, then wheat, and then it takes our alfalfa up to 1.20. Okay, um, the only problem with the corn is we don't have any way to do corn yet. But we have an alfalfa, of, or a wheat, an alfalfa before the corn. Yeah, okay. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? No, I do. We have time to get the equipment. Yep. There is a fill station down, uh... If we had a five gallon bucket or a five gallon thing, there is a fill station down on Vandalia across 40. A little uh, bit. About halfway in between here and Hendrix or 40 and Hendrix on the left hand side. Yeah. Okay. Oh. But I think it's just city water more. Yeah, okay. So, um this all covered it should pick this out. Yes it is. Perfect. Oh, you're talking about propane, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about water. Nine percent. Okay. Not quite not quite ready over there um but then we have like this handy dandy little um thing we we spilled a bunch of uh alfalfa around it that's what that is um uh, doc j made a mistake and forgot to open the thing before he tried to dump it in there but it didn't take it anyway so it would have made a mess no matter what yep there's some of it that it just is non-recoverable too I didn't even try. I tried to grab it with the, the trailer, and that's it. So I don't know what is recoverable and what's not. I don't want to do another contract at the moment. Do you want to or don't? I don't. Okay. So what do you I'm, want to do? I'm looking, though. I'm seeing if there's a there's a couple of cultivating jobs that we could do. Okay. What's How to... big is Field 52, like, legitimately? Give me a second. I'll tell that's you. Big one. I'm looking around. 52. That's big. That's bigger than 61 was. Oh, that's. Oh. Uh, that is 23.8 hex uh, acres. Oh, field 52 is 59 acres. Okay. Yeah, those jobs don't pay anything. 
<coughs> uh, another bailing job. Yeah, I don't want to do that. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. Unless we know that we're not wrapping. It's probably all wrapping because the prices of uh, that is like really good. Um, okay. I want the growth. Yeah, it's probably two days and then we're going to have 15, 29, 30 and 32 ready. Oh, Lordy. What's 32? 32 is barley. Is that oats or barley? Oats. So 32 is oats. Um, and then 30 is triticale. And then 15 is canola. 17 is soybean. 29 is wheat. So. Okay, so you filled it up in before you came over here. Yeah. I got, um, so I have the rotation plan for the oat field. I have the rotation plan for the soybean field. And I have a rotation plan for the canola. And I have the rotation plan for the alfalfa, right? Yeah. Unless you want to play with that. And I can set those that you have in mind. And then you can play with the alfalfa. What, what happens if I do sunflowers? Don't. Let me open that back up like a little bit more. If we do oat, barley, or wheat. Do barley over there. And what happens if I follow? I don't want that many follow. There it is. Follow. Yeah, then that brings that up to 1.2. Okay, so if I change this over to follow, and then grass, grass, and then, uh, where is it? Barley, where are you? There you are. Barley, and then grass. And then what happens if I do grass again? Here. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we do, uh, so I have the, I have field 14. I have field 15. I have field 30 something and field 17 on my rotation plans. Um, Boom, I got those. Save the game. <laughs> we'll save the game. Okay. And let's do this. Now, if we did alfalfa, rye, sunflowers, oats, then keep it rotating. That has alfalfa, rye, and oats at 1.14 and sunflowers at uh, 1.20. Sunflowers at 1.20? Yes. On 31? Uh, um, that's, it's <clears throat> just another suggestion. Okay. Instead of doing a large. So I need you to make the rotation plan for 31 and the rotation plan for 29. Cause I have. What's 29? Is that our grass? Wheat. It's wheat right now. It's wheat right now. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Remember to uh, put one term of follow on there. Okay. okay. I'm trying Holy to. Holy shit. If we did the. Hang on, let me change that to follow. And take this back to nothing. There's the minus sign. This still not have any um Oop. i'm okay i'm just gonna be inside of it now uh so we got that all hooked up but... might be able to connect to that 
I don't know. I'm trying to see if we have okay. any. Alpha, Alpha, Rye, Faldo. 1.20, 1.20. But did you fill out the whole rotation? No, that's just a, that's a three rotation. Alfalfa, then Rye, then Fallow. And that's 1.2 on both? Yep. What do you put on, okay. So we need to put have... Rye on there next. Is there a way to get more crops on there rather than a three part rotation? I can try. Yeah. That's 24% back there. Still need okay, to. If I do alfalfa rye canola, it's 1.14 for the alfalfa, 1.2 uh, for rye, 1.2 for canola. The okay. fellow. Okay. We'll do that. Do the three crop one then fellow? Well, didn't you say there was a four crop option? Um, let me check something real quick. Um, let me change. I was just trying to find a different one. We can try a different one. Give me just one second. Okay. All right. Um, Four crop. Alfalfa, rye, canola, wheat, fallow. Alfalfa is at 1.2. Rye is at 1.2. Canola is at 1.2. Wheat is at 1.14. Yep, that works. Okay. So now I'm messing with the wheat one. If we go fallow there... And then, because we want the we want the follow times on the fields to hit at different times. Yep, I know. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try this one with going from the wheat fallow, then alfalfa rye canola, and see if that works. Hmm. Wait, is that 67% grown? Is that what it means? Maybe. So, um, we are on fast forward time at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. We might be, um, we got radical. Okay, so that, that says 30, or is that the growth right there? That might be the growth. It doesn't make sense. Is that sitting at zero? Yep. So if we do that one, just adjusting it to have it offset. So we had alfalfa and wheat on the two. Then rye on, rye on the next one for the alfalfa, fallow for this season. For 29? Yeah. So it's going to go wheat, Well, 29 fallow. is wheat planted already. So Yes. It's we're... wheat. Wheat right now. Yeah. The next one will be fallow. And that has the wheat at 1.14. The alfalfa that we plant after the fallow will be 1.20. The rye that we plant after the alfalfa will be 1.20. And the canola will be 1.20. Uh, well, okay. So field 29 should be primarily a cereal crop field, I think. So, um, 29 is only going to have alfalfa once. Hmm. And that's right after the, I can try to change can you that rotate a in a soybean instead of canola. Um, I was going to see if I can rotate in a, uh, soybean instead of the alfalfa on that one. Yeah. And see what that does. That's fine. 1.20, 1. 1. One or 1.14 for the wheat. Soybean will be 1.20, rye will be 1.20, and the canola will be 1.20. There's a great demand for straw. Okay. A moment. Do you need me to work on another one? Uh, well, okay, so I have in my planner, I have our soybean, our oat field, our canola field, and our grass field. So I have basically, I have field 17, 15, 32, and 14 on mine. We need 30, 31, and 29. Need a wee wee has done, done, done to the stream. What's on 30 right now? Uh, Pridacal. 
or Triticale. I don't know how to pronounce it. Triticale. Try one. Triticale. Nope. Oh, we would want Triticale, Millet, Spelt, Clover, maybe, Carrot, eventually. We don't need to worry about the carrots just yet. Oh, Nita Wee Wee rolled an 85 and won 20,000 Drake Booty. Nice job, sir. Um. So. Let's see here. Okay, so. Um. Oh, why is that in here? And are you in a tractor while you're figuring this out? No, I'm on the ground. Oh, okay. I think. No, I'm in a tractor. Fuck, I'm out now. <laughs> okay. I didn't even come in to watch you. What do you mean, watch you? When? I didn't know you were streaming. Oops, I'm driving way past where I need to go. All right. Um, I know you're looking for the 1.2s. For the primary thing. Mixed redneck. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Thank you what for if, the follow. What if I told you I can get 1.14 on everything except for alfalfa? That's fine. Okay, so the critical 1.14 followed by alfalfa followed by spelt. I did not want that. Give me a second. Yeah, because that. My concern is that if we do that much alfalfa, we're going to end up with like primarily doing silages. Okay. That's a lot of alfalfa, is what I'm getting at. Mm. Uh, I'm going to get, uh, you guys have a nice evening. Have a good uh, night. I'll be back after the stream's ended. I think I'm going to go play Ranch Simulator. Alright, have fun. Need a wee wee, you just finished streaming. Oh man, I'll have to head over to your channel. Uh... Okay. I tell you love you more and you say it's broken. Hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. Bam. Now I'll know when you're live. <laughs> okay. Not sure where I'm gonna put this. You know what? I'm gonna okay. move the weeder. Nighttime in on this map kind of lags my computer a little bit. Or at least it does in this area. Okay. There we go. It's smoothed out. It has smoothed out. Okay. This weeder also has a grass cedar on it, though. Um, so, putting it in there wouldn't be a bad thing. Let's do it. Boom. Hmm. I don't want that in a convenient location, so. Okay. Bam. What was that? What was that? There was an alert. New hose! 
Nita Wee Wee has hosted the stream. Thank you so much. Wee Wee, I appreciate it, bud. Um, okay. Oh, we just, we're now in midsummer at this point. Getting a little bit of lag on the fast forward with the lights on. Let's turn the lights off. Okay. It's weird because like it, it, it's usually like very clean on this map and it's just being uh, a little bit less clean <laughs> lately. Okay. So we're, there we go. See, look at that. It just smooths out like at one point. It's just like, you know what? I just wanted to be weird for a little bit there. And now I'm not going to be weird anymore. Okay. I'm trying to get this like part. Boom. Great demand at the old grain mill. What do you want? Old grain mill. You guys want, you probably want a grain, I would imagine. Mm. Oh, millet. I think that's millet. I don't know, it's this one. 595. So, uh, we got harvest coming up before too long. This is for you, Drake. I don't want to alarm anyone, but I think we're being followed. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have a few followers. <laughs> All right. All right. So the uh, critical. Yeah. 120. Followed by. Whoa. Synchronized. Who's coming in? Adam. Adam has returned. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you each, each and every single one of you guys for hanging out on stream today. Uh, we have had quite a wonderful stream so far, and uh, there's going to be. More streams on uh, Saturday and Sunday as well. Check them out. Uh, so I start streaming at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, you can check out that schedule down below. Um, and it will give you all the lovely information that you want. Uh, however, we are one follower away from hitting our other goal today. So if one of you wants to hit that follow button and become the latest Drake lane, you will hit that goal and we will toss out 1000 Drake booty to everybody. Um, just something to consider, but yeah. So tomorrow on Saturday, we have the, um, we have two streams tomorrow. So we've got farming simulator in the morning and then we've got mountain blade banner Lord, uh, in the evening tomorrow. So check that schedule down below. It will tell you all about that. Um, what I'm going to do though is we are going to move Chris down. Aww. What's up, Chris? Hello. So apparently you got the crawler to work with removing the bushes. Uh, yeah. Did you know how you did that? Yeah, it's a weird combination of settings. It also plows, by the way. Um, but just leave that setting off if you don't want it to plow. Right. Are you going to be streaming for longer, Drake? No, we're going to be closing it out here in just a moment. Uh, I, was, I was wondering, I was going to get my YouTube gazes over to your stream. I mean, you can you can bring them over. Okay. But I'll go post the link. We're about to oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're yeah. about to head out. Um so let me Let me get that all sorts of situated. I'll be back with you guys here on voice in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen of the stream, first of all, thank you so much. The stream has been awesome. Um I have a really long credit screen about to happen. 
Um, but oh my gosh, you guys are so awesome. However, we need to figure out who is the winner of the Drake booty. So let's figure this out. Who's at the top? Onctis. So Onctis, congratulations. You are the winner of the Drake booty for the month of April. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for your support. Uh, I will make a mental note to that up here. Uh, I, so you already have a sub to the channel, so we need to figure that out together. Um, you get to choose like who you want to send a sub out to, or if you want to hold on to it, I can give it to you uh, a little bit later. But let me make a uh, admin note. There, there, there we go. Okay. On the April booty. Bam. Okay. Made a note of it. So we'll figure that out together and uh and i will get back to that so ladies and gentlemen stick around because what we're gonna do is we are going to raid somebody let's figure out who we're gonna go say hello to um we got that guy that guy that guy that guy mm -hmm. let's go say hello to this guy Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a long credit screen. I'm not gonna be able to keep up with it, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try so hard to, to, to do this. Okay. What? Let's get this raid going. Okay. Let's go. Get in on this raid, and I will try to get all of the credits done in time for the raid. <laughs> uh, okay. Here we go. I will see you guys tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Get involved on this raid. Okay. I want to thank everybody for their awesome time here on the stream. Um, this raid is going to happen soon. Oh, man. I probably should have waited on hitting the raid button. But, you know, that's the way I do things here on the Drake 2000 show. Right? Dun, dun, dun. Okay. All right. Here we go. Thank you to my moderators, D Gold 77, Rabid Ferret. Thank you to my latest Drake Lanes, Mixed Redneck, Fire Panda 35, The Slithery Snake, Marcus Go Boom, Go Boom, Mar Marcus Go Boom. Uh, thank you to my latest subscribers, Blue Lion Gaming, Praxy, Jedi, Shadow Lord, uh, Crazy Polish, NKO Law, Lightning, uh, Hawk Man Beard 5X. Richard Dower Ice, Panzer Shrek Muffins, Army Master Wall Lord Death, uh, Ralph Basic Destroyer Mother, Mother in a Jar, oh no, Deadhead, Host Celeb the Wild Healer, uh, Dat Aim, uh, Highness, uh, Mellow Jacob Miyoko, oh no, the raid is leaving, uh, Demon Slayer, Kirby, Saint Nick, Ring Snow, Maddie B, Snake Eyes. Uh, I can't say all the names. Uh. Okay, it's two thousands raiding with a party of twelve. Thank you so much, buddy. And welcome, all you raiders. I hope you're well. Oh, thank you so much, mates. I hope you're well. Can we have a shout out, please? We're, uh, Drock Edge, 2000. Oh, give me all your grain. <laughs> I've got some grass for you, mate. I've got some grass. But sometimes that might be better. Um, the grain tricks, it isn't lined up. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's probably why it didn't work. So I should have a tipping point now. Uh, still isn't working. Uh, maybe I've got to force. Hmm. Got Drakkage with a follow. Thank you so much, mate. I'm here. Hey, Drakkage, thank but... you, mate. That's, uh, that's lovely of you. And welcome all your raiders. Oh, we're going to have to do it next month as well now. We're just getting there, mate. Huh? Give you 80-odd subs. And, uh, just I couldn't to... even get through all the lists. <laughs> <laughs> I need a transfer. Uh, we're to, uh, we've got a little solo here. We've got a piece of land. We're trying Sounds to get like some, new uh, day. some silage with some grass. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to... So I'm going to try and force tip. And see... Oh, yeah, okay. It's registered in the bottom left, oh. you see? Uh, one oh, my God. All right, I'm sending over... You all through, like, 10, maybe okay. 20. Thank you, mate. Uh, yeah, that's very good. 
<sighs> did I not gift the sub to Chris? I'm pretty sure I did. Well, it like gave it out to a bunch of random. Pretty sure I gave one to Chris. Might have been one of them to Chris for how many you gave. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? Thank you again. That was a lot. Yeah, so you guys sent your money. How much do we just give them? Uh, eighteen thousand for yesterday. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got this. This is a nice. This would be a good spot for a house. Mm -hmm. it, if that tower wasn't there, but you like see everything. It's so nice. And I see uh, you cleared the stumps. No, no, no. I got Drake did that. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I think we'll probably end up buying another one of these. That way, once we get done with the forest, we can both clear, and that'll also replace that other wheel loader. Cause this thing's pretty useful because it can stomp and wheel load. Yeah. And it's also that's a fair amount of horsepower, I think, or at least more than the wheel loader does. We need to sell this. This this just oh, needs yeah. to go. This is like 400 horsepower. And we need to get rid of the wheel loader. We might as well do that now and get rid of the stuff we don't need. What about IT runner? We're we gonna keep it or leave it. Um, it's a difficult one. Am I still on fast forward, by the way? Yes, you yeah. are. Yeah. Okay. Help! It's dark. <laughs> a little late now. Uh, what's our crops look like? Cause I'll fast forward till daytime. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not quite ready. Or, or well, might look like they're ready on your end, but on my end, not we'll quite ready. No, no, they're fine. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward until day. Just. Holler at me, I'm doing admin stuff. Oh, that's fine. Holler at me when it's when it's uh six thirty AM. Alright. Admin stuff? Yeah, yeah, like um putting together announcements, uh finishing up this stuff, getting ready to do Onctus's break booty thing, resetting the booty, so on and so forth. Oh, okay. Alright, we can um so we're dropping off the. You said the leveler. Or the the leveler. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I guess yeah. You could probably use the the forest mulcher tip as a leveler, huh? Yep. That's what I've been using. Yeah. So we'll. Is Drake back yet? Drake's mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Are you here? This rotation plant? Not yet. The... I'm like in and out at the moment. But yeah, right. if you got one figured out, well then we'll go with that. Three different filled out. One for the alfalfa filled, one for the wheat filled, one for the uh, turkey cow. cow. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I gifted this up to Chris. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. You gifted a bunch of subs. 